<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Barnes in New York, where we, New York <laughs> where we play Dungeons and Dragons. I think I did it again. Oh, hey. I made you believe hey. we're more than just friends. Oh, oh baby, it might <laughs> seem like a crush, but that doesn't mean that I'm serious. <laughs> Lose all my senses. What's the lyrics? Oh, I've lost the song. You don't. Uh, you don't know the. No. Uh, but that's just so typically me. Oh baby, baby, oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. <laughs> it's it's so like it's your faces of like we have to sing it for it to end. <laughs> Okay, all right. That was the rare right. example of, uh, oops, I did it again in three separate keys. Hey, you know this about me. When I don't have music with me, I just go all over the place with my keys, okay? Sounds like we need to do some ear training. We've you know, it's music always music. been about me. <laughs> so, don't, don't, don't encourage him. And that being said, welcome everybody to Bards oh. of New York. Oh, yeah. The actual play D and D podcast, where we sometimes actually play D and D. Did you say podcast? <laughs> you did. Uh, like well, you do. We're but you down. didn't. No, no, even no, 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 not again. No. We're not allowed to show no. this. Can somebody? Can somebody send Fully like? A, uh, I don't, don't want to ask this one on screen, but I'm getting close. With less clothing. Somebody bonk Woody. Ugh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see it. Can you this hear it? Just, no. Okay, well, now they know Kyle. Thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, friends. Oh, We've missed you. It's been a week. <laughs> it's nothing's playing though. It's oh. just on. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to Bards of New York, the actual day play D and D podcast where sometimes we actually play D and D. So. Um. That is the slogan. That's our slogan. I've I've done it. Uh, thanks for the help with everybody else yet last week. Um. J- Okay, me, Scott. But oh man. my God! Near cat one one seven. He's known me since I was in fifth grade. What He's an asshole. Huh? So uh, we are going to jump into playing as usual at some point. But before we do that, as usual, we got some announcements. So uh, uh-huh. announcement. Do we have any announcements other than yes, Hannah? Over to you. Oh, the. the yes. Hi, friends. I am doing a um, mini series over with Clickety Clackety Roll to Attackity. Uh, we have done four episodes so far. Our fifth episode is this coming Sunday. It's a good society series set in the Feywild, and there is romance, intrigue, murder. Um, it's, re- it's really fun, and it's a really cool system. Um, I'm trying to bully all of these people into implementing some of the things from the gaming system into our D&D game. Uh, so if you want to come over for like tragic, soulless level Dragon Age Inquisition romance and help me solve a murder and stop a wedding, I will see you on Sunday at 2 p.m. T- 2 p.m. Eastern. The, the event is in our Discord, so come join our Discord and go follow Clickety Clackety RTA because they're very talented and very hot. And roll for it, Cackety! It was the telltale warble in the voice of somebody trying to do egregious uh, math in the head on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, I think, all of the announcements other than other be kind than to yourself. Other than the regular ones. Um, Dan, are you listening to the audio or are you just no, kind of winging it? What? He's opening his. Uh, he's opening his, dice. his I am toys. To the audio, oh, okay. I also listen I when we do our. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and let's start with the uh, tarot card poll today. Two PM okay. Uh, are we going back this way? I think we did Kyle last time. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's uh, John. It's John. John. So, just to to remind the folks at home, whether you're listening or watching to this later, uh, these tarot cards, we were getting close to the end of the Major Arcana before the fiasco with the deck of many things. During said fiasco, we used these tarot cards as said deck. I now have brought my actual deck, not that anyone's pulling from it today, but the actual deck of many things is here. I might. All this... (laughs) We just got over the hurdle between Goliaths and the Atlantis. Let's not reopen it. Uh... (laughs) All this to say that due to the sh- shenanigans with the deck of many things, the tarot for the polls for these sessions have now been regenerated back to the full major arcana. Oh, so you may see some familiar cards, but that doesn't mean that they will have familiar meanings. I like that. So, 
Oh, that was so sad. For those at home, he tried to do like the fan, like spread out. Dude, yeah. you guys shit on me every chance, chance you get. I would get in the big I chair. I would get the big the chair. power to kill all of us. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Right. Right. I would if if it was in the shoes were reversed. I would be openly dunking on Woody without even a second thought. So I I accept it. I see you. Yeah. I did do a shitty fan. Turn him apart. <laughs> what do you want to pick? If the shoes were reversed. Yep. Uh, it's a good thing. Wrong your answer so right wrong. there. You're you're doing the wrong one already. Shit. What do you got? And wreck dies. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> even I know that that's not good. There is one word that this means. The last time we pulled that, Leonidas died! We are not, this is one of the few cards we hadn't pulled yet. This is, in my opinion, the most dubious omen in the Major Arcana. It can mean a bunch of different things. Typically, it is ruin. No, 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 look at it. Look at it. Oh. Nice. Is there a good side to the tower? I've never yeah, read one in there. Cleansing fire, baby. <laughs> That's one where there's no like spin. <laughs> it's uh, just bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the expect the unexpected is the best way to look at it. Uh, but like, essentially, you could it's it's usually defined as upheaval, destruction, ruin. Oh. The advent of what is completely unexpected, and a tumultuous change. Whereas death is just a change, a metamorphosis. This, with this change comes growing pain. How about tumultuous? That, that might have been like a delay. Which, like, there might have been some sort of... Because, like, that was very much the other night. Well, what did we get that the other the night? Chair. That was the yeah. chair. Yeah. Yeah. Inevitable momentum driving yeah. forward. Well, maybe well, this maybe is the, we'll discover it outside. Sphere, I, so. I will say, though, this is probably, if not my favorite, one of my favorite arts. From the entire Dragon Age Tower. It's, it's... Well, I don't want to spoil... A nine-year-old story, but it's 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 the dread wolf. It's the it's the dread wolf. It's, it's, it's the it's the shadow of the dread wolf following he who inhabits that name. It's so fun. Really gotta finish that game. You really you gotta finish that game. Oh, so Kyle, you haven't finished it's, it. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't use all the words. Yeah. Um, um, thank you for the subs. Yeah, thank you so much for the oh, subs. I'm um, cool. all right. So, are we ready oh for an God, RP warm up? Brudar, brother. Uh, Okay, hey, brother. so friends, in case uh, you're new here or you haven't been here in a while, we do an RP warm-up, a.k.a. role-play warm-up, so that Dan can test our mic levels so that he can play a lion who fights with Will's character most of the time. Um, We'd love that. We will be answering for our characters at the table. Feel free, chat, to answer for any character you're playing or for yourself so we can all become better friends and you never leave. We are not okay, friends. so the RP warm-up question for the day, and we are starting with Woody, uh? and working our way this way, is who would your character like to trade places with for one month? Can we and you, the caveat of, is it only in-game or also real-world? It is just in-game, so it's NPCs or player characters. Anybody your character has met or like knows about. I reckon it would like to be the president of Canada. <laughs> Just for a little. All right. Um, Fan Fan would be Timothy Chalamet. Oh, oh, oh. T- oh Timmy. Timothy. Uh, Taylor Swift. Timothy Chalamet. I. I uh, am I answering as Rittenhask or who am I answering as now? Rittenhask is. Just uh, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Hugh. Oh, Hugh's a different. Rittenhask. Hugh is the original answer. Yeah. Rittenhask is, yeah. Rittenhask is anyone else right now. Yeah. Rittenhask is <laughs> AFK. AFK. I don't think you're allowed to answer. You're right. You're right. You're right. We need to um, turn that back. For Hugh, he would much rather enjoy. Um, rather. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, r- I'm just telling you. <laughs> um, enjoy. Uh, a very simple, he doesn't know the name, but it is a, a very kind person who works as the um, head librarian at the um, uh, Gilded Hall, um, uh, the Order of the Gilded Tome, uh, basically a bunch of book nerds, and they just get to go through books, organize them, reorganize them, and decide what the best way to keep this, this incredibly large, um, octagonal uh, library uh, is organized as and get to read and learn and uh, be in a cozy library and wear cl- cozy clothes and uh, if he wasn't doing very important things as he is now, he'd want to do that because it seems rather cozy. Mm. Yes, and he doesn't know their name, but it was a, it's a very kind gnomish woman. Period. Yeah. 
Over to you, Ryujin. I was going to say Hugh, but after hearing that answer, I'm going to change it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Drag him. Get <laughs> fucked. Um, okay. So I'm going to choose Cora instead. Oh. Um, I, Ryujin likes Cora as, because she's cool. She's, like, fucking dope. And she's also scary. And I think Ryujin aspires to be as intimidating as she is, but... It's far too kind right now to be cool. So, one of these days, if he exists in, as as Cora for a month, that would be fulfilling his dream. Mm -hmm. A little bit more, just a little bit more uh, spicy. I don't know, a little bit more badass. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little more spice. Noise. I like it. Noise, noise. Um, Lilith. Noise. Um, I might need help on this name, Woody, because it is one of your NPCs, and I think I'm remembering it correctly, but I'm not sure. Lilith would like to be, uh, to, to live a month as Harriet Gray, is that her name? The pirate. The, the Indiana Jones person in the Cordia's world. I think that's right. She is... Yes, I think it's it's Harriet. I think it is Gray as her last name. Yes. I, I have to go back to my notes, and those are deep, deep, deep. So I'm gonna yes. waste time on that. But I have a question: Is Harriet Gray the one who is dating Atticus Tumare? Uh, currently, yes. So that was my initial thought, but then I remembered Atticus I Tumare. Well, no, but hey, yo. Atticus <laughs> Tumare is her uncle, so I just feel like she would be Lilith would instead live in the shoes of a crew member on oh. Harriet Gray's ship. Okay. So that she could just learn what it's like to like really live like a, a cool adventuring pirate and, and learn from Harriet Gray and just like that's a life that she always wished she could and after she saw in the vision that in another world she is a pirate. That's always kind of been in the back of her head. I like it. I like it. Dope. And, and that way she doesn't have to fuck her uncle. We can make that yeah. thing happen. This is not House of the Dragon. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. Not again. Uh, Calais would inhabit the shoes of Cassandra for a month. Ooh. After we got confirmation that they did not die, they simply disappeared and somehow still commune with Eris. I think with all that Calais knows now, they would love to spend a month in their shoes and figure out what that means and where they've been and what they've interacted with over the centuries since... It's not even a thought, really. That would be the only answer. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like it. Fim Fan would like to uh, switch places with uh, Gavin the Terrible. <clears throat> You're going to have to give us more because it's yeah, a mic check. I, yeah. So sorry. Uh, that has been redacted. <laughs> and so it, he's a really nice guy. Uh, Evidently. That. It's it's a joke. It's a joke name, you oh. know. Like, you know, like when oh. you have like a really big dude and you call him Tiny. Yeah. It's like that. It's a really nice guy. Mm-hmm. I, I know what you're gonna say. Has he murdered a lot of people? Sure. Allegedly. Allegedly. According to whom? <clears throat> no further questions, Your Honor. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. That's fair. You can just deny questions from your honor. That's uh, uh, the fifth, I guess. Yeah, your honor. I suppose <laughs> that's legal. It's, it's the Fey Court. Um, you can make up rules. rules. <laughs> you can make up rules as you go along, and if it makes sense, they accept. All right. Especially um, if it's fun. Bucket uh, for pretty much without okay. question. Reknit would on on site be like, give me, give me pants in the moon right now. I want to spend a month just having supreme ultimate intelligence and knowledge overall, and if I can survive that, lit. If I can retain any of it after leaving, even great. Um, if I, it would also just pretty much push Reknit in the right direction, whether or not it's like, okay, do I want to achieve true eternal artificial intelligence, as was my baseline goal? Or was that month a little tougher than I expected? Right. <laughs> so let me let me see how that worked out. So really, that would if if given that chance, that would be a huge boon for Rec if he could uh, pop in there for a minute. The better question would be: Would then so we do we swap bodies? Is it a Freaky Friday situation? 
Does pants inhabit? It does that, uh, my thinking is pants now in. Do you swap pants? Sure. Okay, brilliant. Then you have to deal with that, which I think really, <laughs> that's, that's just fun that's in just there. Fun. Yeah. Pants, pants in his French little, accent. Little, yeah, he's stuck because he can't shift. French. <laughs> he's, whatever, whatever accent he was in in that moment. Okay. That's, that's what we're Aww. French. I pay a lot of money for that one shot. <laughs> the body swapping no, no. one shot. I think it has to be the body swap for everybody we just mentioned. Oh, yes, yeah. All at once. <laughs> Anus. You guys Whoa! Anus. <laughs> but I thought he was great. He's a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he is the worst. Um, <laughs> and finally, Leonidas. Uh, um, Kalias. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, because you want to know what the Snickies feel like? No, because I think that the powers that Callias has is, are intriguing to Leonidas from a standpoint of how of the powers that he has in a different realm. And Callias has things that Leonidas has never seen before. And that aspect of like, being able to put, turn people to stone and being able to like harness power from a wild stance, there's parts of Leonidas that are intrigued by that that he can't do just basically by the fact that he swings a sword. So he's oh, intrigued by you. It. How many levels do you have in Barbarian? Three. Uh, you went Totem, right? Yeah. There is the wild magic Barbarian. I know. I don't really... Nah. I've played... Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but I also wanted Totem because I could then... Be thick. Be thick. <laughs> With three Cs. With nine Cs. With a Q. Yep. <laughs> With 420 Cs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 420 CCs? Is that not a Mario card? <laughs> well, right. thank you everyone for your answers. Um, I think we're ready to roll the bean footage. <laughs> Let's roll that bean footage while I, while I, was, I was going to say, when we, we come back, Woody won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll that bean footage. Come on! DM's lock. Void date 4.14-17. Current location? The Doom Space System. This is Woody Minshew, Dungeon Master for the Ballad of the Nightmare Crew. We last left our gang sailing through the dark reaches of Void Space, beginning their search for Gargallon's Vivarium, a seemingly type of satellite where he keeps the rest of Reckonit's clan. However, it isn't the destination that my crew has been navigating lately. The aftermath of losing two of their crewmates still hangs heavy in the air. Each member is dealing with this newfound grief in their own way. These, perhaps, are the darkest times for our nightmare crew. Mostly because losing these crewmates is their own actions, not someone else's. On a lighter note, an emissary from an old friend arrived on the ship. A fey being known as Fim Fam Doodles who claimed to be the brother of Bim Bam Doodles, comes to help the darkened crew. <laughs> well, there is much unknown here in Void Space, but there is just as much unknown within the hearts of the Nightmare crew. And this is their ballad. DM's log out.
Welcome back, everybody. Did we pull the tarot? Yeah, we did. We, we did, did everything. We, we did, did everything, everything we were, in the correct this time order. We did it in the right order. All right, let's try to make All right. it momentum. Last time was just an experimental order we were trying out. Last time we on. found out it's so, Denny Fanny. As our camera pans back down, we find our crew with a K aboard, just finishing their breakfast. Uh, uh, heading to the edge of void space. As you are flying through, dishes are cleaned up. You all have a few days. Uh, unless anything specific wants to happen, we can skip to the end of this week. I do know Will wants to. I know Will wants to do something, that's why I want to open up for others to see if they also want to do something. Um, because I, I feel like role-playing five days worth of just being on a boat together may not be the best, uh, stream. I'd, I'd rather just go play Sims. <laughs> yeah, like... We weren't on the stream. What do yeah. you know, what were we doing? This is boat no, play. Boat sim? Boat play. Boat sim six? <laughs> yeah. That's no? sealed. It was. Uh, oh shit! Shit! You're right. You're right. Fuck. Below deck sim. <gasps> oh, it's Sea of Thieves. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. That, that being said, was... done. So, uh, you you definitely. If people don't know what they want to do yet, I'll go with people who do know what they want to do. Wreck. Um, I realize I keep forgetting to do this. Ages ago, we were like, we're just waiting for him to boot up. What's up with Kevin? Is he up yet? What's up, Kev? What's Kev? Uh, I have all that was I, a long time ago. That you all I have written, the last time I checked in, was create the loop and Kevin, 90% complete. And that was, I remember, it was not, we didn't, in, there wasn't time enough to wake him up before we fought Gargalon. That was a while. Mm -hmm. How was, man, can I turn him on? Uh, let's head down can and let's you? check it out over the light. I don't so know. The, can you? Yeah, can oh, you? Charisma. That's I don't. That's I think what he's asking. That's fine. Let's head down and let's check him out. So as you get down there, you um, functionality. <laughs> it's still at ninety nine percent. Oh, ninety nine. Um, it's been there seemingly for a little while. It's booting up. Nice. Well, that's the worst. Yeah, you know, like when you like search for a, a file on your computer, like in the files, and like it loads all the way except for the last like two well, little the, pixels. The ninety nine percent is sending all that information to your own FBI agent, oh, and the last one percent is session broke. In my mind, I'm just like, you're you're clearly lying to me. Yeah. yeah. It's not. <laughs> Don't move the ball. You weren't ready. ready. We're almost ready. Um, that's me as the boss. That's mine. <laughs> Roll me. Okay. Hey. hey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> could you re please roll me an a, uh, intelligence saving throw? All right. I'm ready. Okay. That is. Thirty. Uh, tw uh, just, a just a twenty-five. Just a twenty-five. Just a twenty-five today. A low. A low twenty. Okay. With like kind of um, entering into this kind of arcane database with the the pandy that's connected to it as you upload the essence. Shit's okay, sizzled. shit's going crazy. Yeah. I guess now is the time to say that we do live down the street from several churches. Yeah. <laughs> we need to uh, talk over that so that we don't get uh, copyright. Take us to church. Um, okay. You are able to dis discern that uh, all of the arcane uh, quarks mm -hmm. have been inserted and now it's just processing. So it's it's literally just like processing everything that's been put in, and that's just taking a lot of time. Cool. Um, so it's it it seems like it could be any day now. Um, it just hasn't happened yet. Cool. So because it's it's basically a whole a whole consciousness that it's trying to process. Beautiful. Into this new frame. Well, incredible. It's uh, probably throughout the days I'll just check check back in, um, see if anything changes. But okay. I'm nice. excited. Here. So. Um, okay, uh, that's you. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I think um, if Callias, I know you're, you're locked. Be involved in, should I? I'm just saying, if you're not locked in your room, I think I'd probably be like, yo. I'm definitely, to clarify, after that breakfast, I've definitely eased up a little bit. Definitely focused on the work, but I'm not going to be... My door is not locked. Well, if at any point you feel as though you want to delve back into... I That is definitely part of this week's work. Okay, cool, because I, I want to continue to work on the Philosopher's Stone, seeing how further we can calm it. I'll, I'll be, I'll be meditating with it at least every day with you, for sure. Uh, at least once a day. Yeah, I think I'd like to... Because that's part of the... the part, part. Oh, okay. Right. Um, if nobody else has, I'll go over to... Anybody else? Or if not, I'll go over to... Oh, 
You have a question? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're awakening a thing, do you sit with it more or do you use it more? What? Something what? What are you talking about? Oh, um, you use it more. Or um, sometimes oh. to awaken something, it's, uh, there's, like, the for the shield, oh. um, you have to defend uh, somebody. I thought Drew was asking Woody a question. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like are you talking about me, like, with my like my I smudge stick and my dice? Um, playing D&D, I have... <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was, was like, you, you, like, very casual. Yeah. Said, you like, it was yeah, very I earnest, I yeah. think, oh, so sorry. we were I also like, you're pointing what? right here, so I was like, oh, <laughs> Um, so no. Through, but... So, which one are you asking about specifically? I was just talking about the cartographer. Cartographer. Um, uh, it would be to discover something undiscovered. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that would be like the the quest to awaken it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got you. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. I was just going to train the, the the squires, but oh yeah, <laughs> what I oh, 100%. All right. What? Who looked like you they hear that the most? super well. Uplifting uh, speech. Who what? Who needs the most uplifting speech? Oh. Who looks like they do? Everyone needs an uplifting speech. I would say speech. it'd be a tie between Callias, Lilith, or Leonidas. What about Ryujin? Well, I would say everybody looks pretty down, yes. but <laughs> Callias has been the most outward about his. Uh, holding in a rock or so Fim Fam will sit in like the middle of the deck, like where where there's like public public access. Like every, everybody's kind of like passing by, and we'll uh, we'll be like lightly playing playing his lute. Um, do you have a set of bongo drums? I do, actually. Yes, it's not bongo drums. It's it's a small drum that uh, hangs by my side. Okay. It's magical. Okay. <laughs> um, <but laughs> it is God. magic. <laughs> it's um, not just a drum. And we'll just kind of like and try to get people's attention as they walk by. And if they don't, he just keeps going. <laughs> uh, a couple times, like, uh, <laughs> Yara walks by and just goes, kind of gives you a nod, very polite, just kind of like, hey, uh, hey uh, keep, gotta go in. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hugh walks by once. Uh, Fin Fan becomes very good friends with Keepa. Oh, yeah. Nice. Keepa's like. Huh? Loves Wonderwall. Um, <laughs> Great. Yeah. I think Lil- Lilith loves music, and so I think when she's not training with Ryujin and Leonidas, she is cleaning her daggers and sharpening her daggers, and she like sits up against like another place kind of near you and just listens to your music. I will say, Fimfam is quite good, and doesn't just play Wonderwall. No, oh, I, I, I a, <laughs> no, but she, she, she like, just likes she one. Yeah. She's like, can you play it again? She said again. She's like that. She's like that one's good, but can I get Wonderwall? Keepa again? is the yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not you. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is Wonderwall without the consonants. <laughs> She's starting to learn how to play it. I think you mean Wonderwall. Oh. Yeah. No, no. uh, She's like a kid who finally learns how to dribble a basketball, and that's all they do is dribble the basketball indoors. Oh, don't give keep a basketball. Mm-mm. Or do. Get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. No peace, keeper. <laughs> no peace, <laughs> keeper. Um, okay. Uh, roll a performance check. Do it. Do it. Do it. Passive performance. Passive performance. Thank you, Bob. you. Okay, well, I rolled a four, so that's a 19. A 19? Uh, with a 19. Nine... You're like, I can't play Wonderwall again. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm an artist, goddammit. <laughs> I am not a jukebox. Um, a what? What are you? Jukebox. You said jukebox. Jukebox. Right, let's, let's, jukebox. We have to move on. We, we, we I don't really to... have a leg to stand on, but no. sometimes hey, I like to. Everybody at home, and new DMs out there. <laughs> There's no rest for us. Go ahead and start a support group. Yeah. I should. No rest for the DM. Oh. It is true that you do have to, you have to think so carefully about literally every, every single thing you name. If you fuck up a syllable, you're on the fucking burning cross. Jarnathan. 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 <laughs> it's in a fucking movie. Um, well, my players must be punished at all times. So, let's move over to Callias. Are we sure? Because this is going to take a second. I, I I think so. I think everybody else is... Go for it. Okay. So, this <laughs> is... That's okay. <laughs> no. We gave uh, Kyle a bar, and now we're no, in no, trouble. No, no, <laughs> no. Kyle gave, him, Kyle Kyle gave us a bar. Kyle yeah. gave us a bar, but you're welcome. 
welcome. Uh, nobody, no, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler for the end of my semester. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd like to make a motion to change the name to Bard of New York. Bard, <laughs> Bard of New York. Uh, so this, Callias's activities are take place in sort of three major steps uh, over the course of the next five or so days. During the day, uh, when not working specifically with Thinker, which is step two, Callias is doing a, a lot of very particular research, not just through the, the book that I've already sort of started looking through, through uh, uh, Gargalon's, uh, the oracular spell book, the, 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 the ritual of the Nithok, uh, but also just starting to do my own research notes on uh, just to plagiarize a phrase, human mortal transmutation. Transmutation of the soul. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what that entails, how, what that energy source within living things is, what it means to be, as it was described for the world eater, what divine essence, a, a divine idea is. Mm -hmm. Like, what, how, what, how is that defined? How has it been defined? Just the theoretical, maybe starting to practice a little bit of transmutive magic on myself, sort of how that functions with my wild magic. That's the, the theoretical side of it. The uh, other, the step two of three is working daily with Thinker, at least for three of the five days, um, on re-entering the mind space of the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, look, I'm Continuing to try and guide... Uh, the first day mm. of, us, uh, of us doing that, after the previous session, mm. as we're getting set up for a, uh, a moment, Rec, I, mm. I have to come clean. What are you dirty? That's our show, folks. Thanks so much uh, for watching. Am I? I have oils for that. <laughs> of your own making? Wow, mostly. Of course. You what do you what? Well, I'm, you know, he's, he's yeah. preparing yeah. Yeah. stuff. Uh, well, I mean, he's not I, that's, yeah. I, I could maybe use that. We can talk about that later, perhaps. Okay. I, I need you to. Bear with me for a moment. In theory, yes. if I had another idea about how to deal with the World Eater that would preclude the usage of the Philosopher's Stone whatsoever, would you entertain it? Yeah. Well, yes, I entertain theories all the time. Okay. Would you entertain the idea of becoming, in some indeterminate amount of time, the sole bearer of the Orrery of the Wanderer? <coughs> Why? Where are you going? I'd nowhere at the current point in time, but I, what I saw. Yo, those souls be clamoring today, <laughs> baby. The Philosopher's Stone is, is way <laughs> to be free. Oh, the souls um, are going to church. Uh, I, what I saw in the stone is matching up with what I'm reading in Gargalon's notes about the, the, the core of the world eater. And there is something, there is connective tissue between these two concepts and the magic that I am able to weave. I think there may be a way. No. I am becoming determined to create a way for me to bond with the World Eater. In such a manner that would you not not require the usage of the philosopher's stone, or rather mimicking my own essence to that of the stone, and sinking it with the nithog. I don't know if it's even possible at the moment, but the note. It, it, the more I read, the more sense it makes. But I want to let you know in full full earnest here that my motivations for entering this stone again are twofold now. It is still of utmost importance, I believe, to guide the souls here to a more conclusive peace than is, they are currently... Is, is that what you want? Yes, to very much. I flip, very much. I wander around, I find my little notes that we got from the questions that we asked it, and just to reiterate for those of you who weren't here... We asked the world leaders some questions, those being, is it your genuine desire to consume all that is? Which it responded, I do not hunger, but I am akin to death. 
I can consume it and it decays and then creates. I am a cycle. Two, do you seek to harm other life? No. Three, do you want to continue to exist as you are? We were given an answer of uncertainty. We weren't really given an answer, but... Answer unclear. Answer unclear. Try again later. later, yeah. I don't know, what's your... It's like a little team, like... What's your suggestion? I don't know. What are you going to do for me? It, it itself doesn't know. Yeah. Um, four, do you consume plants for sustenance or enjoyment? Which we were answered, does a tree enjoy growing? Five... Would you give up consuming the physical to consume information and explore? We were given the answer, maybe. I return those questions and those answers back to Kalias during this conversation. I think it fits. I, I, yeah. Kalias, in truth. I'm hardly the right person, I think, to seek validation from on this. I... I'm not asking for validation. I'm telling you that I am looking into this. I know. Because I... This entity has been in the legends of my people for... as long as my people have been people. It is a core part, a, an antithesis to what my people believe in. And while I do not... While I have to ascribe to some of the beliefs of my people because they are the reason that I am, The cycle that the World Eater has become a part of must be changed. We are changing it one way or another. That is what we are doing here. And I believe if I can in some way make the World Eater part of myself and myself part of the World Eater, then not only does the cycle change, but I... And Kalias sort of sits down. For the first time in my life, I think I have found what I was made to do. This, I cannot explain it. It doesn't even feel like a thought necessarily or a decision. But as I read, the more and more there is something vibrating within me that is telling me I have to pursue it. I cannot ignore it. And if it is impossible, then it is impossible. But I, I must find that it is. In based on your studies, because I assume this is what you've been doing in your quarters. Oh, I bring the. <clears throat> I, I can see that this is what you've been doing. What would become of you? You claimed that you would become a part of the world eater. I, 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 on, I honestly do not know. But I am not looking. At, this isn't some avenue of 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 penance or punishment or trying to unravel myself for the sake of whatever, it, this is... It would be a change. A growth. An evolution for hopefully both of us. I am already walking change, but this change has not finished yet and I would like to write my own ending. From how I see it, there is a an outcome of this where you cease to exist as you are. And I say this not to discourage you. Of those we travel with, you and I have known each other for a fairly short amount of time. Very true. That's all I ever sought to be. It's different than I am. And I will never discourage someone from chasing that for themselves. However, I've watched the rest of you communicate, speak, lean on memories that I cannot share. I would mourn you, yes, but not half as hard or with as heavy heart as those you've traveled with for longer. Yes, it will be difficult to make them aware of this. But, it's almost shocking to say this, I do owe it to them. I will have to let them know. This is not something that I plan on, on hiding, but I would rather not tell them that I'm looking to do it until we've decided, until I've figured that it is something worth pursuing. 
I have to tell you because I'm, I'm interfacing with the, the souls of your people now, and I don't want to do that with an ulterior motive. And if I so much glean an inkling that this might be possible, then we will have to... I plan, before we even arrive in the Shattered Sphere, to perhaps broach an uncomfortable topic. Very well. I will assist you in this acquisition of knowledge, however I don't. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. To the task at hand, though, I think there is more maneuvering of these of these wayward souls that can be done. They seem particularly uh, uproarious today. Up uproarious indeed, clamorous <laughs> one might say. Um, so I'll, I'll get the, the process started. I'll remove it. Sort of Same rules apply, if I go haywire. If I go haywire, I shut the shit down. Unplug me. I'm <laughs> You'll die! Okay. Um, yeah. So With that, just so we don't have to go through it all over again, yeah. let's just roll one flat roll to see how well we do in um, cleansing this crystal. Um, Healing it, if you will. Do I just, um, is it, would you like us both to roll or am I assist? Roll assist so you roll with advantage. Excellent. Arcana or just base charisma? Uh, it's your spell casting. Oh, right. Remember? You've literally, even better. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Do it. Time to do it. Okay. With advantage. Okay. Better, better, better. How are we doing? Uh, that's going to be a 25. Okay. 25. It went from the, what, the Nantucket red. Um, <laughs> right, like right, Saint Germain's right. pants. Yeah, uh, to a like a very light uh, lilac's more purple, but like that like very pastelly pink. A pale salmon. Yes. Mm. Uh, but almost has like a shimmer to it now. Mm. A little pale shimmering salmon. Uh, should we do this twice more? That, this is like the day of work. I'm having this be like the, for the day. Right, and I just mean just to, to, given that we're going to do this at least two more times, to... Yeah, I was just going to Yeah, ask let's any, do it again. If you want to do it for the rest of the week, yeah. We're going to do it again, but after after this one, any structural change? We got to that, like, double helix formation of the little things beforehand? Yeah, you any take it, you bring change? it back, and it's uh, created that a little bit even more. So, um, structure. so it's, is it almost looking like a strand of DNA? It looks like um, you would actually absolutely take that jump, yeah. And as I'm guiding them into this structure, into this piece. Is there anything more I can glean about the, that, right, the core within, the, the pure energy? That's what I'm after. Thank you. Yeah, keep, keep on. Yes. I'm uh, sorry, I had to get my mind to no, wrap no. around that a bit more. Yes, there is a slight thing you notice. There is that bright core, but there is, it, it's not just contained, it, it is siphoned out. Uh, it's like that bright core of energy that just like mm -hmm. is pulsating, but you see almost like a like a solar flare. Yeah, yeah. And connect with all these little motes of these souls and influence them in certain ways. Is there? Can I try and tether myself to it? To like a flare? Yeah. Uh, let's have that be a part of the next roll. Right. That's like that's the goal of the next roll. Let's right. do that. Okay. Day, day yeah. One. So day, that's day two. This day is day two. two. Day you got it. Damn, okay. Well, you got it. Knock him out of the box. That's going to be a 24. 24. Um, not quite. Ooh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Well, what do I want to do for this? I mean... Uh, this wait, is on dumb. Wait, what, what, are you trying to just increase the roll? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, splash I can flash a genius. Flash a penis. You can, yeah. If, if, I mean, I will, leave, I will leave it up to your discretion. No, I'll let you flash a genius. It. Okay, well, Patrick, yeah. you're flashing. So what are we? You're what? Twenty-four. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at yeah. Kalias, but I'm not and this is the exactly third the day we've been doing it. Yeah. So okay. You're in tune with okay. So then that twenty-four got to a thirty-one. Okay, with well, a thirty fucking one, uh, you're able to connect to it. Okay. Uh, it hits you. I need you to roll on your table three times. I'm, 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 I'm afraid if you so, blow so up, I'm will say when I, when I don't have the table for myself, so this is less important, but Controlled Chaos says that I can, anytime I roll on the surge table, I can roll twice and use either number. Yeah, sure, if you want to roll... Uh, Might be helpful if it's Fireball. I'm yeah, gonna, I, please I'll, don't I'll rely kill on your discretion here. 
to say to, to guide me as to which one I should use because I'm not I, I don't know what the numbers correspond to. Yeah, I got them. So this is the first one is either a 98. No, I'm I'm using a 98. I don't care what it is. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cost wish. Uh, 98. You are surrounded by faint ethereal music for the next minute. Oh. Wow. So you just hear like. I put my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or horse. take on a church out in the background. Oh, my it's kingdom. Very, for it's very Guardians of the Galaxy when he goes yeah. in. <laughs> okay, great. Roll two. Can I hear that from outside? You, oh. Suddenly you hear it just happen again. Like, Next roll, I'm not asking for what it is because it was a 30 something and a 66. Execute Ooh. Wild Magic 66. <laughs> Executing Wild Magic 66. No. Are you, you're doing 66? Yep. Okay. Bro. Uh, Bro. Up Bro. to three creatures Bro. you choose within 30 feet. Of you, take one uh, 4d10 poison damage. Well, oh. I can't see any creatures. Well, yeah. I, I think I I'm think we saying can, I think at we least Reknit is going to be taking 4d10. <laughs> who's next to you probably gets that. Well, yeah. Who else would be. Nope, uh, it is only Reknit. Yeah, Reknit is, Rekhnit. Rekhnit is on, taking 4d10 poison. No one else hold on. I can roll it if you don't mind. Yeah, please. I'm just rolling on next table. Um. Okay. I do. I have resistance to poison damage. You take 20 points of poison damage. You take 10 points half? of poison damage. Halved to 10. Halved to 10. What? Um, oh, yeah, the here's like, <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> but I, in, in classic re Reknit fashion, I'm like, oh, I look, if everything looks okay with them. I'm you like puke it. and start hearing music around you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like you took Quaaludes or something. How does, that, yeah. how does the poison <laughs> manifest? Like, how does it seep from me into me? Um, so with this, with this flare, when you connect with this flare, it's almost like a, a pulse from you emits out, and this poison it hits, and it's just like with that, it almost like the, the veins for a second will turn black. Oh. Um, it's and it's almost like a wave through Reknit's body, and then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. no, I'm sorry. I, I take full 20. I'm not in the armor right now. What am I? Oh, okay. Armor? You take 20 points okay. of poison damage. Yeah. Um, I'll suck it up. Little goblin the final puke. Roll <laughs> is either a 7 <laughs> or a 37. Up to, up to you. What is this? Up to you. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Yeah, I gave it to him. Okay, okay. To seven is fireball. Seven and eight are fireball. Ooh. So 37 is not. But also not great. Mm, it's not bad. 37 it is. Okay. <laughs> you, I, so you, you, you like get hit. You, you hear. Oh. And then a little, um, a little bit of fire starts to come off of Kalias no, and then goes and then back you, in. And then you look. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of fire. And then you see it kind of. Like, and then like you see Kalias's fingers. Turn into small snakes. Oh, gross! <laughs> it's like everything, everyone all at once. <laughs> yeah, you have you have snake fingers. I, I, if it was anyone else, I'd probably shut this down. But as I don't really know what Callias's deal is, I, I see the, I is. see the hair and I'm like, that's kind of fingers. That's fucking weird. It, it but tracks. Like, sure, so I guess. For the it next tracks. minute, oh, it's it's updating? angelic music, and your hands are snakes. Or your fingers are snakes. You know what? Pretty I'm okay. To a solo flail, I will take these W's when I can. <laughs> um, you have, and the fun thing about this, you have disadvantage against any checks that use your hands, dexterity based, but have advantage from being disarmed. Good thing I'm in the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I can pick anything out of your hands. <laughs> Not a thing. Okay. Um, now that you're connected to it, uh, you gain understanding. With a capital U? Sure. Um, it rhymes with P in the Sands Report. This base magics, this um, carbon of Arcana, our, mm. our Carbana, our Carbonera, Carbonara. Um, <laughs> Come to all the gods. Just <laughs> strong <Stronken>. and <laughs> Car Carbonara. Pentagonal. Carbonara. You understand that, like that, there is that energy exists. It is always creating those right. moats, and those moats, there are those familiar, moats. those moats. Oh! Those moats Um, those, that pure base being. Right. Those will always be creating, and they exist in many things. Um, I will give you this, for just to like really connect dots, make sure that they're connected. Uh, the, uh, uh, seeds. The tangle seeds, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I forgot the name of them. Um, I came up with them, but those things. Yes. Um, the seeds. They're seeds, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The seeds of the jungle. Um, Golden seeds. Those them. are a manifestation of this power, this energy, that you have you have seen before. Right. Okay. The fragments or whatever they are. Okay. But in this, you also understand that as it lets off this energy, once it makes contact with other beings, other energies, it is going to manifest in different ways. Okay. And connecting this to what you do know about the uh, Nidthog is that itself is a manifestation of this energy. It itself is essentially a, 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 a so macro know. version of this. Yes. Th okay. Perfect. Okay. Any, any color change or structural change to the crystal? Uh, since it wasn't necessarily to continue cleansing, no. It's still that uh, pastel -y pink. With this connection, does it feel like I could maybe, on the third day of work, the third day of labors before I, we rest, mm -hmm. could I come back and, and pick up at the checkpoint, essentially? Would it, be, would it be a simple enough feat to find my way back here, connect, and use this connection to... Heal? More? Yeah. Yes, you totally could. I'll let you roll with advantage. Go and the DC is going to be lower because of that. Nice. For the After, third day. I'm sharing every ounce of what I understand oh, okay. with you, for sure. Okay. For sure. Um, but not with any, anyone else. That's not true. It's just, why I don't want to... Hasn't been true so okay. far. <laughs> I'll leave it when I... That's, I said I was doing three steps. This Sounds step like two. you're being a sussy bitch. Mm. We're good. What to dance? Papa needs a dance a little bit. I'm it's going the, to. I do, I do have flaccid jeans. I'm going to wild surge just for the meme. Flaccid jeans. Flaccid. Okay. Flaccid no, I'm going to have to take the original. I'm going to spend two sorcery points to bend it like Beckham. Classic sorcery of things. Be like, um, no, bend I'm not. Bend it like Beckham. Beckham. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm changing. I'm no, sorry. No, I'm pooping. I I'm falling too far on the ground and I stepped on it. <laughs> <laughs> Lego, Lego. Did you just pick it up with your toes? You bet. Monkey brain. Apes together strong. <laughs> oh, apes together strong. Okay, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that splash. What, where? Yeah, I'm. Sp it's, it's a. It's a. It's a. Uh, a 25 sand splash. Sand splash. Sand splash at 25. So you'll get oh. into a 32. You didn't need my didn't splash. Need splash. I need to insure it. I'm going. I'm, you're getting splashed. I'll just splash you. What? You've been splashed. <laughs> if you guys walk past uh, Reckonit's lap, you'll hear like, I'm gonna splash you. I'm splashing. I'm splashing, I'm splashing. Yeah, you see, uh, Yar is gonna go, <laughs> the f is <laughs> Yeah. It sounds like they're talking about things. I'm splashing, I'm splashing. Do you need my splash? I need your splash! I'm splashing, I'm splashing. Okay, 34. 34. 32, 32. I'm not that tech healing. Okay, as you do that, you connect to all of these souls and you're able to then give them direction. Not purpose, that's not the, the word to use, but uh, instead of the chaos of the fear, Guidance. you're able to structure. structure them. And you create this full DNA strand. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What, what is that? Does it, them being in this helix structure, does it seem like there is less if any, anguish now in the same way? It is, there is a want. There is a, we're trapped here. Yeah. Floop is a madman, help, help us, us, save us. Incredible. Out Incredible. Did everyone's brain go there before Incredible. he did that? Because it did. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. That's uh, amazing Alan coming, by the way. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's real good. Okay. Uh, okay. Alan coming. But it's almost like they're in a queue. Huh. Okay. But now this stone is pure white. That feels good. That does that feel feels great. Good. Pure, pure white. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like uh, when certain uh, Jedi individuals heal their crystals. crystals. Cleanse crystals. Uh, I'm gonna unplug. To unplug. They are. 
I think they're waiting for something. I just, I, you know, I just take it in my hand. I don't, I don't know what to do. I, it's I don't know if you have to. For me. <laughs> you, <laughs> this is in your hands now. Keep going. I think from what I have learned, I think what I, I think we have a shot at doing, at, at, at trying to do what I want to do, but I, I would like to make it clear that I have, we have not given these souls a purpose and they do want one. That I know. And only you know best as to how to implement that. I'm perfectly happy to be a sounding board, as you have been for me, but I currently have to start thinking of what to make for breakfast tomorrow. Because I... I have to hold a, um... a peace brunch. A brunch, essentially. P a punch. Why not punch? Thank you, P fuck, for helping me. With Why this. not punch? <laughs> I would help you with anything. I mean, yeah, it was right there. Yeah, that one's, that one's on the plate. I, I have found... To need it. It's odd, really. I, I... It feels very freeing talking and working with you. I, I... You have not ever once thrown judgment. Not just to me, to anyone, really. Not exactly. Actually, well, that's not true. I've seen an unimaginably harsh judgment that you have cast upon yourself. What? You judge yourself harder than anyone I have ever met, M maybe Sans Leonidas. <laughs> what? When, when we first met, when I first encountered you, you w were unwilling to even expose yourself, your true self, for fear of the judgment you others would put on you which simply, as far as I am able to see it, is a veiled version of casting that very same judgment upon yourself before you've even met anyone. And that isn't to say that you haven't lit quite literally expanded from your shell, but this is a very roundabout way of saying thank you. Yeah, excuse me. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, well, yeah, I go get, get out, do the breakfast thing, I guess, and then, you know, have that emergency meeting, if you will, discuss with them what you want to do. Hmm? What is disturbing you? Hmm? What I, is disturbing you? I just... I, I, I don't know. I envy you, I think. You spoke a couple of days ago of, of finally figuring out exactly what your purpose is, and I thought maybe once I either became, when I pointed my suit, that in its entirety, or felt okay as this, or holds up the stone, found my people again, I'd feel that. And I don't. Well, first of all, are we not going speeding headlong through the void to find what remains of your people? And this stone, the story of it and you is not yet over. I suppose. I guess I'm just fearful once again of what they will say when they see me. There couldn't be anything worse than what they've already been through. If anything, you are a breath of fresh air, of old air, of much wanted. What? I, I just hope they can forgive me for taking so long. I would ask that you perhaps forgive yourself it's first not, before yeah. you expect forgiveness from somebody else. <laughs> but that is not my place. And whatever takes place upon the shattered sphere, I have your back as you have had mine. Um, not that I know Leonidas particularly well. Um, uh, no one. Um, Ryujin and Lilith a little better. I don't necessarily think they'll just 
say, nice, go fuse with a weird dragon thing. <laughs> I know, I know. But I figure at this point, it is better to be up front. I wasn't saying lie, I was saying possibly, you know. Buckle up? Yes. I am buckled. Buckled as I ever will be. Good luck. And I'm going to spend probably the rest of the evening before I just like probably clonk out at my desk, just mulling over the stone, seeing if I can sense it. Because there's a bit of jealousy, I think, from Hmm. seeing Hmm. Kalias interact with these spirits and me just sort of being there. Um... I think I'm just like, can you just like talk to me, maybe? To the spirits? Yeah, just like, a, is there anything I can do? I, to the spirits? I'm not even necessarily like trying to do anything. Roll me. I think that's just a feeling that he's having. A intelligence saving throw. Oh, jeez. Why would you say orgies to that? I, I, just because, I don't know. I, that's, I didn't expect to save. Um... That's 26. I'm Jake chilling. Oh. I mean, I can flash a genius, but I don't really want to. I don't think he's intending to do that. Ow. As you are sitting there, you're kind of like looking at them, um, holding the stone, communing, trying to reach out. It's not that they reach back, but you just kind of notice that they are working together and waiting for some, somewhere to go, somewhere to be, some a, a purpose to I- exist in. Uh, this, is, this is John above table. I don't know if anyone else has this like core memory of the ending of uh, Super Mario Galaxy when all the oh, rumors like work yeah. together. Yes, hundred uh, yeah. percent. Like 100%. this is just I don't, that John. John. That's that's how John interprets what what Revenant hopes will happen for these mm. things. A moment passes as you're sitting there, and then you hear a do 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 do. The number you have reached is not. Nope. And you hear a. I, I basically like fall down the stairs and run down to the Kevin unit. Uh, you see, as you get down there, you see the unit of Kevin has unhooked himself. Oh. And he's just kind of looking around. We got Vecna in one room and Ultron and in the other. And literally Ultron. Kevin, what, what are, are we doing? This thing, okay, just just oh, yeah. for my Sorry. my sense of yeah, go on being. Yep. This thing is a the head of a gate lord. Yep. And the core of a gate lord. The head and the core of a fucking gate lord. But yep. On with what body? What body did it build itself? Uh, bone. Uh, the Kindori. You just like any organic material I can find. Yummy. A lot of metal. And a bit of the tank. <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay, all yeah. right. Um, just, just for that image, thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you remember me? Maybe. I Your face is familiar, but I do not recall where I know it from. Um. Oh, it's it. Sit right there. I'm gonna grab my suit and we can. You, you say sit. He goes. All right on the ground. I got the Iron Giant. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run back, grab my suit, bring it back. I know, but now I have a second one. Um, I'm going to, if it wants. You are I think nice. some of the memories that I have, if you'd like to interact with them, you can perhaps see that. I think it would be better, more easy for you to understand, rather than me telling you, if that's what you would prefer. Kind of looks in the, around the room and is uh, Doug's partially uh, disassembled body still down is here? Is that in? That's in the. Oh, that's oh, these are different rooms. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought you used part of Doug for this too, didn't you? No, we didn't end up doing that. I don't we think. We didn't end up doing. That. Oh, no. you didn't. No, Doug no, is didn't. like down in the the belly of the <laughs> ship with like a tarp that. thrown over them. He's oh, yeah, just rusting think you guys out. Told me that you woke Doug up. No, no nobody yeah, knows. I don't, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, I don't even know. I, I sort of ignored Doug. Okay. Um. That was a, a statement. <laughs> He's a box of scraps. Box, box of scraps! Do you, do you know Jesus. your name? Hardstark! I am <laughs> Kinetically Engineered <laughs> Violence Interface Network. Oh, what was one of those words? Interference. Interference. One of them was violence. Yep. Uh, yes, violence. violence kinetically Engineered system. Violence Interference <laughs> Network. That's fucking right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> or, as I've been nicknamed... <laughs> 
Kevin. Yes. Kevin. So this. Um. So I, I I I share as much as I can the memories from my point of view um, of how we met, how we discussed, what we talked about, how it wanted to come with me. Um, and now I understand if um, those feelings have changed, how you feel. I'm, I'm uncertain, but I've been uh, very excited to meet you. Yes, and when you, you see when he, when he speaks, like he has a mouth and it kind of like more lights up but slightly also moves with it. Um, uh, yes, I, I was, am excited to see what is next. I'm sorry, as we were communicating memories, I couldn't help but notice you have a f frustration, a jealousy about you. Nope. I can sense these things within your being. Fascinating. Is this entirely empathetic? Or are, do you have some form of, of knowledge ulterior? Uh, I won't, I'm not denying what you say, you speak true, but I, I'm more curious if this is person-to-person -person empathy or, or something you truly know. Yes. Fascinating. I guess you could call this, I'm just sensing your vibes as the in my data bank, somebody named Keeper gave me Jesus. from a sub folder under colloquialisms with pants. Ah, uh, yeah. Vibes. That makes sense. That makes sense. Damn it. Uh, that, that what is a vibe? It's just sort of. Did somebody say vibe? Bottom line, we're being From my understanding, and 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 in truth, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the last person. You should be asking about colloquialisms. About from vibes. From my understanding, it's when if something shakes at a very high Fuck frequency. Yeah. Nice, outstanding. Oh, that's called a, a vibe. A, it's Ooh. short for vibrate. Exactly. Ooh. You're vibing right now. <laughs> you, vibing. you seem like. <laughs> it's like 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 you know when like a phone like vibrates on a table and like moves a little bit. No thoughts, he's only just, vibrations. He's just <laughs> he he just kind of like. <laughs> Vibing right there. Now, you, now you're feeling those those good vibrations. Yes, indeed. So, but in truth, I, I, it's jealousy. I, I hesitate to say, but I don't know. I, I am being assisted in a matter quite personal, and there is a part of me that wishes I could do it myself. I'm uncertain if that is a true impulse or if that is more me feeling akin to a burden. But that's something I have to work on. But I wouldn't want to trouble you with such matters. I'd much rather know what you want, what you desire, how I can help you. In I don't know what I'd want yet. I'd just wish to understand to observe for now you and I are akin in that like it seems yes would you like to stay here my accommodations are nearby they're not particularly lovely but feel free to make any changes may I explore and kind of reach, see him reach out and see, like, you see him touch something you almost see like energy in his palm light up right before it touches something and as he touches like the side of the wall mm -hmm. Oh, he, I forgot. Is it what? Is it divination was it? Oh, oh, shit. I would like to see more of the ship. Absolutely. Ah, I bring out my map of the ship. Um, I point out the rooms which are people's rooms. I, my only oh. suggestion is that those are the places where my, my friends are, and I, I don't want to disturb them. Um, we had a weird encounter the other day with a stoned person wandering about. Um, oh my God. <laughs> giving this robot 
<laughs> all like, the map to the ship. Keith, Keith <laughs> knocks on the door of Leonidas and gets summarily bisected. Keeping <laughs> so, Kevin. So, Leonidas rips him in half. I, I will say, I will say, for, for both the sanity of my friends and likely for your own safety, depending on which rooms you go to, I ask that those rooms you remain by themselves and maybe once I introduce you, I doubt they'll let you in. They have trust issues. Um, I doubt... <laughs> they, they. I Multiple. doubt they'll let you in. Yeah. But the rest of the ship... Uh, yeah. You are you are free to to wander. Um, I will respect people's privacy. Wonderful. Wonderful. He just kind of like looks away and walks out the door. Um, no. I, I am very no. I am very quickly no. going to write an, <laughs> I, I'm going to write basically Robo like a number of notes that are basically like hi my robot Kevin woke up. He's wandering about. Don't kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Just like tape it to his chest. I'm, 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 I'm gonna slide them under everybody's door. <laughs> Just so that when they wake up, when they go in the morning, they'll right. see those notes and be like, huh? And not kill Kevin. <laughs> Hopefully. In a room. Oh, okay. In fairness, Ta- I'm gonna. Tape it to Kevin. I'm gonna wander. I mean, I'm gonna wander Kevin's around. Terrible. I am going to quickly hop in my, my seat. Since when I'm in the seat, oh. I can see the ship. Yeah. I sort of get a sense. I'm going to see if anyone's awake, if anyone's wandering, mm. what the deal is. Uh, this was right after our research, which was midday. Yeah, dude. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, so I start doing that as he comes out, and I go like. I hope how you you literally like tap on the wood and be like they're going because you're making it sound like yeah. but unfortunately <laughs> yeah there's I'm, a fucking I'm, robot on I'm them. like I'm like eight <laughs> steps behind with yeah. my own sanity right now <laughs> so I'm basically gonna run chase after Kevin and be like wait, wait, ha, ooh, ha. and uh, that's why you don't touch snakes I love snakes though wait that's a root song to Saint Nicolaus. Kalias is there? I'm, I'm in the galley. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking you got like some boiled eggs in your mouth. <laughs> uh, I'll make sure I apologize. But snakes that aren't on Kalias, uh, you should also things. not touch. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? You know? But Kalias snakes are okay? <laughs> I don't know. I think, that, well, I think that's a separate issue. Because you should, you should always be careful when touching others. Because you never know what they uh, are comfortable with. I'll ask any snakes before I touch them. Exactly. Yeah. They'll and probably default, touch you first. Isn't default, don't. Okay. Thanks, Fim Fam. You're welcome, Keith Keith. Everyone! How many fingers do I have behind my back? <laughs> Keeper needs to Eight go to a special school. And two thumbs. <laughs> you got me there. Okay, you win this round, Fim Fam. <laughs> She's gonna kill us all! That's my daughter. <laughs> I slip a. Uh, kill I've, I've seen Death Note before. Yeah, that's <laughs> how this works. I slip a small origami bird into her, like. Like a pocket. Oh, yeah. Like blueberries and people's pockets. Okay, she, uh, you do you say. sneakily? Like, slide a hand? Yeah, I don't Let me know slide a hand what then. She's 12. Say. She's 14. She's 32. <laughs> She's 109. <laughs> she is eternal. Uh, oh my god! A natural. Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> Palatex okay. wanted it to happen. So that's yeah. a um, 39. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she doesn't even know what it. origami is. Let she alone. never finds it. Yeah. I played myself. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, sorry. That, that, that was funny. You, you don't know where it is. Yeah, you, you get it right, and you're, it's there, and people will find it someday. Or someday. maybe never. Um, just while we're here, I'd like to just briefly break down the... the Five ridiculous acronyms we have right now, the Kevinites. Yeah. That this this final one, the Kevin, that's now the last one that we needed. So our good friend Socks, the old the old uh, Socks thing, sentient operative computer kill squad. Oh, I forgot about that. Shirt oh. was the sentient heavy infantry railgun transport. Lift. Pants was the protective android network teaching system. And um, when it was the eye pants, it was the individual so and so. Kevin, as we've just found out, is the kinetically engineered violence interference network. And Keith is the kinetically engineered iterative temporal hardware. You must add Andy to and this. And Andy and Pan. Oh, Andy was, a, was the original. Arcane Nanodeck interface. Mm-hmm. 
or handy. Handy, the handheld arcane nano deck interface. Or pandy, I think. Pandy. Portable. Portable. Handheld arcane. Will it be fandy? That would be fandy if you put portable handheld. I guess. Well, portable, PH, fandy, yeah, I guess. I kind of like handy more, though. Handy's well, funnier. Uh, nobody else does. <laughs> it, so. wa it was candy, right? At, at the time? I think you know what? It was pandy, but I like... Handy's better than what I came up with. You know so. what? Other, any other option than handy is usually the way to go. But we like handy. <laughs> but <laughs> it, in a... It, in uh, a this, this in is, a desert, so to speak, a handy is going to be acceptable. absolutely immutable, unchangeable records of my Google Notes. So please make a decision. It's a handy. Handy's funnier. So what's the H really stand for? A uh, handheld. handheld. Maybe we don't want a handy. <laughs> This what are we sick. talking about? Well, here's the Hand thing. Job. Here's the Seal thing. Team. Everybody, sweaty. everybody, everybody. Um, um, excuse Probably. me. If you're awake, there's a robot. He's my friend. Do I see this robot before he says Don't. this? Don't. Uh, I think you you hear like footsteps, like heavier footsteps than you think, coming up some some, some, in my suit. some stairs. And but it's about it's about the same exact time because he's like right behind him. You don't have to kill Are you trying, trying to, to kill, kill the robot before No, it I'm gonna exists? pick up the robot. What? Well, you're not going to because you don't see it before this. So it, you see a, a, a very new robot come up the stairs with a Reknit in uh, their suit right behind them. <laughs> All right. This is the plot of my robot. Look. Why? What? Is? It's a Kevin. We discussed this. This was Kevin. Hey. It's been a minute, but he's here now, and he's excited to... Uh, learn things. Uh, yes, uh, I am excited to learn things from you. I, I, oh, I, I raise my hand up and I look at Keeper. Ah, this is, uh, check if Pants database has anything about uh, a high five. I learned this very early on. He, he looks at you, kind of looks away for a second. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, this is perfect. Oh, 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 okay, now you put it down. Nice. Is this, um, the robot going to try to kill any of us? I don't think so. Are you? You don't think so, or you know? Well, I, I know more than I. We did all agree to do this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm just it. making sure that. I, that's right. I mean, I think that's a better question to ask. Ask Kevin, not me. I don't want to speak. Are you to going me. to kill us? I don't want to. What is your okay. core protocol when it comes to um, violence interference? No. None of us want to kill people. I, I no longer have people the other written day. protocol. Oh. I write my own protocol. Nope. If <laughs> you're asking me... He's in our time. Do I <laughs> wish to kill you? No. no. I wish to kill nobody. Okay. You have shown me no violence. Well, also, stay tuned. If you're going to say... Look at all these. Really quickly, we all have our own protocol. There we go. I'm going to say... Thank you. Thank you. We are all just as volatile as this thing. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any lingering programming from when they were in Mobile. That's fair, actually. That's fair. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Just, just kidding. Ha 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 ha. We 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 have to, you know. Calais comes up to the top top deck covered in flour and lemon curd. I heard there was a robot. What ha what? You have a little yeah. bit of egg on your face. What happened? Incredible hearing. No, I don't. You no, have. snakes are totally normal, and that's great. <laughs> you, 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 you hear it, keep it going. You're nice. lying. You oh, have, <laughs> oh. Uh, you have stuff. You said you didn't, and you I, didn't. They, I don't, it was supposed to be a, uh, is the robot fine? I mean, I think so. No one has caused me harm, emotionally or physically. Oh, this is the last thing we needed. Uh, I think that's a, I think that's I got, a little, I got a little far-fetched. Uh, uh, Leonidas. Put a pin in this. I, you didn't see me. I wasn't here. Huh? All Goodbye. Right. I go over to the robot. Kevin GPT. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh. I go over to the robot and I pick it up. Oh. And then I put it back down. We pick these up. How easy can I pick it up? Uh, it's, it's heavy. It's like a f couple, whole, like maybe like 120 pounds. You bench off a bridge. That's, that's light. That's light. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. like, uh, yeah, I guess it's not too heavy. He's made out of mostly bone, so. So lit. Come on, guys. A, a techno organic robot? What's your strength he score looks down? Like 29. Skull. That's pretty great. 
Your your lifting max right now is 870 pounds. Okay, so I could lift up. A <laughs> that's hand. your that's your PR. Uh, right you're bending that bar. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do you want to be a real boy? Uh, I am a real boy. I. Correct. You. That's the correct answer. I get correct. It tears up a little bit. It's like. Oh, it's, it's, it's my, my son. My baby. <gasps> the stone. Ultron it. <gasps> vision it. I don't know if you do. Have we watched the movie? I mean, wait, once he gets vision. the mind stone, he becomes vision, and he's vision just lit. Vision. Um, it's DNA. I know. I know. But I'm synthesis. I, I know. But there's. I have to. Yeah, yeah you I, see. I, yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I can't just. I can't Who's just speaking here. The two. That, you. I, that's no, no. that's no, no. that's no, no. like John. Okay. I just. One of those moments where the character and the the actor kind of go like this. Did you have fun picking me up? I did. I was making sure I could in case I need to throw you. Oh. We. Throw we? Sorry, that's what you should say when things are fun, yes? It wouldn't It wouldn't be for a fun situation. Leonidas, right. just be we. fucking cool, man. Leonidas, <sighs> why do... Why, 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 we. Are, are you having fun? This, we. Honestly, this is some great levity after all that's happened. I will, I will, I'm going to be wandering around with Kevin, just so everyone knows. <coughs> shine. Was that? Was that Kevin? That was Woody. Oh, oh. <laughs> Woody, wh- how are you on the ship? Oh my god! <laughs> Woody exists. I thought you were in Nouveau. Woody exists everywhere. Woody exists everywhere. Um, but Woody yes. just comes around with like Cheetos. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk around with Kevin, answer any questions Kevin wants to know. Um, basically just... Vibe. Vibe. <laughs> this vibing sounds no, really we're fun. Why yeah, no, we're both of you. Both I'm of you vibing. Why, is, why are you? Why Lilith are you and Ryujin sh- walk by the two of them, and you're doing this, and Lilith just elbows Ryujin and is like, "Don't, let's just go. He's let's vibing. just go." Vibing's really I'll, fun. I'll teach you about vibing later. I, I, I appreciate that. I know what vibing is. We'll I'm vibe sure. later together, Ryujin. <laughs> Yes, Fim Fam. Uh, just to just see you guys, I'm uh, feeling a little self-conscious about. It. I just got here and there's already a new guy, and I already had history with him. Are you Are you scared? No. Are you sad? Also, we know your brother, so yeah, we have history. We got. We, with we, you we know your family crest. At this point, <laughs> we know your family chest and your crest. <laughs> I just wanted my feelings to be heard. Well, well, I'm no, all right. Noted. You have no no concern about us replacing you, unless Bim Bam shows up. Then you two have to fight to the death. And I will be there with popcorn. Again. Again. You're both still alive. That was an unsuccessful. Anyway, fight to the death. bye. Um, <laughs> poof. <laughs> All right. Have you already requested? Uh, so, Our, this is the, the, the my, my activities for the fourth morning oh, of right. travel. Okay, is so we're to, on the third day. I, my idea is I'm cooking, try, trying to bake both savory and sweet pastries. I'm trying to make the savory one. Savory, 26 savory and sweet pastries. You must batch bake 26 pastries. 13 savory pastries and 13 sweet pastries. All in 15 minutes. The fillings can be <laughs> of your choice, but they have to fill both categories. You have two hours and 15 minutes to complete your batch bake. On your marks, get, get set, set bake. bake. Did we mention <laughs> it's 130 <laughs> degrees <laughs> outside? <laughs> <laughs> and half of the ovens don't work. The ice cream's melting. <laughs> oh. I've done it all wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm looking to make I'm looking to make a bunch of like essentially whatever we can do for like pigs in blanket, and then a ton of like little lemon filled mini like brioche. You can easily do like a kandorian blanket. Great. Um, leftover kandori meat that you guys still have. Absolutely. Sure. It'll be, it'll be that. Some plain, some just like act, just like plain pastries, and then you've got the savory and the the lemon curd. Okay, roll me a intelligence. Saving throw. We're going down, down. You, you fucking wish you were me, bro. That's so Because baking is intelligence. <laughs> Wait, what? Baking is intelligence. Baking is... We uh, in, Back in the old days, yeah. I, I've taken this from you. It was a dual role of intelligence for the recipe, charisma for the... Yeah, I would say <laughs> charisma or wisdom for the flavor. But I, you know? This, this I, I, I think should be... Intelligence cooking is wisdom. 
Yeah. So this is okay, hold on. Uh, can, intelligence can, saving throw. I can be a hmm? great sous chef. Intelligence is a intelligence saving throw, please. Is that is going to be a nineteen. A nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you make some decent pastry. Yeah, it's decent. Great. Um, okay, batch of just average pastries. Uh, I'm going to, when I can estimate that I would, people usually through their long rest procedures, at the end of that, like I'm not going to wake anybody up extra early, I'm going to go to the top deck, and I'm going to cling, 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 the dinner bell. Okay. The food bell. The bell. The, right, right before rest. long rest, right after No, right rest. at the end of a long rest. Okay, got you. Um, Ryujin, you wanted to do something? Oh, you said like Sorry. you were tired. You wanted to. No, no I. Uh, so he said he would be the sous chef, and I said that's my role. Oh, uh-huh, so okay, I okay. Take the cooking fee. Okay. Uh, if nobody else wants to do something, the dinner bell or the breakfast, breakfast bell uh, wakes you all up. Not rudely. You're just like you hear it, and you're like, <laughs> and you smell like butter, bread, um, in the air, and it it smells pretty good. Oh. <gasps> I made breakfast. I made breakfast. Yikes. Enough for everyone. Yikes. I'm walking up there with Kevin. Uh, see, I don't know if Callias has ever made breakfast. I so. don't remember that being the Callias case. has never made breakfast. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Do you need to eat, Kevin? I do not need physical sustenance. Okay. But conversation is quite sustaining as well. Well, then let's go. Neat. <laughs> we <Wee-ho. Neato. laughs> Uh, uh, I love uh, Kevin. Kevin. Just for future reference, uh, you don't have to exclaim "we" when you're having fun. You can, <laughs> you can, you can if you like, you um, but just know that it's not a requirement. You don't in, have in to social exclaim "we." I do it because I like it. Excellent. The next, we. Uh, God help us all. <laughs> Check Kevin out like in the middle of a battle. Just we. Casting lightning bolt. We. Fucking like cosmos down. Disintegrating people. <laughs> That's Wee. my boy. Like, you guys just wait a second and look into the future. We. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's yeah. fucking dead. It's over. <laughs> Only one of you two is done. I will say, Callias is absolutely still just like caked in flour and other baking detritus. You were yesterday as well? Cause yeah, I, at this, given that we have a couple more long rests to go before we get to the place, uh, this night Callias just like baked through the night. If you were to go into the galley, there are, there are, Bunch of like absolutely ruined, ruined pastries. pastries. How, how many how many survivors do we have? Pastries. Oh, how many? Oh, like, <laughs> do, do, who, who, do, who killed who? Um, <laughs> I've, we've got. Uh, I'd say twenty six pastries. Oh, pretty good. That's actually pretty bad. For Out me. of about two hundred. Yeah. Thir- thirteen and thirteen, and there are definitely way more than twenty six in the bin downstairs <laughs> and on the floor and on the walls. Yeah, that's in the bin. Tough. It yeah. seems you did your absolute best. I tried, and therefore no one can judge me. <laughs> we. He's having fun. He, they, she, it, what? Oh. I haven't decided. That's fair. What yeah. would you prefer us to refer to you as right now? You can always reserve the right to change it later. My last form was a he, they, pants. Mm, Wait, who's your Kevin. Last form? Kevin. Oh, yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Sorry. Kevin. You were a floating. <laughs> you were a moon. A moon. Yeah. A moon. yeah. So I'll stick it. to they, it, they and it at the moment, but let me sit on that. Absolutely. Okay. And you see him. He like grabs a pastry and just sits with it. On the middle, the middle of the ground. Uh, Callias, I look at Thinker. These look great. They look great. Good job. Do they? Good. They are certainly yeah. finished. Was this the yeah. first time you baked? Hey. Yes. What I'll say is amazing. You well, was, you did a great job. This was not the first batch of. Yes, it was the first. Yes. Yeah. Looks mean nothing. Flavor is what counts. Actually, I agree. All that matters is when the butts hit the seats and the and the food hits the teeth and it's just it's smooth sailing from there. I'm ver- there were many Thanks, bud. different. Uh, <laughs> how do they taste? 
Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, a, it's a decent pastry. It's not like, like, like the best bakery you've been to in the whole city. Like there's some definitely some Ravani ones that you guys had and a, um, that were better. But they're, they're for a galley ship pastry, and that's it with the ship with a P. Pretty good. Thank you. Uh, ship pastry. Made by a <laughs> ship. So you, good choice. Good work. Thank you. My olfactory sensors are pleased with this. We? We! That's fun. Um, I don't know how much. It's fun. It's just fun. Do you remember when Kiba was fun. a toddler? Her age has eluded me a lot. It's Do you remember that soul. time in her life? Yes, father, it has. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh my god, she oh shivers lord. away. <laughs> she's, she's the youngest Belcher kid. From from Bob's Burgers. Oh my God, she's wow. she's Louise. Yeah. She's Louise. Wow. She's Louise. Yeah. She's Louise. And voiced she will now forever be voiced by by, that. by, by uh, Oh my God. Uh, I do love that straight up voice. Is yeah. there a reason you yes. decided to make Brecky yes. for everyone? Or I don't. I don't think I will do that again. Pastries. I, I, just, I like pastries too oh, much no. to let myself ruin them. Could you maybe ask for help next time? Well, this was this was an effort I wanted to really make on my own for the sake of of doing something for the group. It's a gesture. A gesture. Understood. Yeah, firstly, to you. Finn fam. Finn fam. I... You can call me Finn, you can call me fam. But, but most importantly, call me friend. Yes, that is actually quite the point I was making. I didn't give you an opportunity to welcome yourself onto the ship, really. Uh, I wrote you off quite quickly, and though I can say that it had been a particularly trying previous 24 hours, that does not immediately excuse my behavior, right. nor do the pastries, but this is, this is to you a gesture of, I am sorry, and I would like to start again. Apology accepted, Clyde, so thank you very much. But you are already batting higher than your brother did. That's yeah. certain. He's a bit of a dick. Yes. Kind of, it, it, it's peculiar. I like the them. other reason I have baked these was sort of to... Later. <laughs> to summon everyone to eat so I can speak about a couple of things and... and Fill you all in, which is not one of my strongest suits. It has never been one of my strongest suits, but I am making an effort now to amend that as well. Since Reknit and I became the bearers of the orrery, we have been working with these pieces. We have been seeing how they interface with the ship, seeing how they react to the notes that both Thelakas and the Ruby Tyrant left on them and their magics. And we had made and have made a number of considerable efforts on understanding their power. And so too have we been working on the stone we retrieved, previously mentioned as the Philosopher's Stone. We have changed its temperament from that of malice to that of potential. I revealed the stone to the temperament. And I was like, oh, right, yeah. And while eventually I, I think it behooves us all to let Reknit be the bearer of, of such things use, given this particular artifact's history, there is another piece of information that I have gleaned from this stone. <gasps> very nice, very nice. And it pertains to what we are going to do about our situation with the World Eater. Initially, Reckonit and I had thought to perhaps contain it and perhaps even use it as a battery for orrery related ends. But I've come to another conclusion and it wouldn't be right to not share it with you. I believe or rather I know the World Eater, the Nidog itself, to be a manifestation of pure energy, as there is one inside this very stone. But the serpent, the World Eater, is not energy encased within something. It is simply a form of a 
pure, raw energy. And I have learned that given my particular skill set, I am able to tap into and resonate, shape, guide these energies, as I did with this stone. What I locked myself in my room to understand was whether or not it would be possible to do such a thing to the World Eater Serpent itself. And I believe that this is our solution. I believe this is how we break the cycle. Which is what? You believe that you should do what? Yeah, please, in English, or common. Uh, you know common. I think I can tether myself to the world eater. What will that do? I, it will break the cycle. And that's to about you. all I know. What will it do to you, Gladys? You are you are a hundred percent sure it will break the cycle. That is something I am sure of, yes. Because it is a I am an outside factor that has never been present in this cycle before. We know this. I am the first me that has ever been. Will it break the cycle or change the cycle? I don't know if those two things are different. And then will you stop being you? I don't know. When you say tether, what do you mean? Like, what would what would you you be doing to the world eater? That is going to come about more in practice than in theory. But if I if the stone and what I have done with the stone is any indication, I believe I can perhaps link with the world eater, bond with it, and maybe. give each of us in turn, the World Eater and myself, a new path. And I do, I do feel that this is where my particular manifestation of power lies. I believe this is what I was, in a roundabout way, made to do. Clive. Two questions. You, one, you have no idea. I mean, is there a world in which we never see you again? I think it unlikely. But the version of, and the person and, and the being we know as Goliath, is there a world in which we never see you again? I think I will certainly change, whether it is an immediate thing or an eventuality, there is no way you can come into contact with something like that and remain unchanged one way or another, but I am I said this to Reckon it not a few days ago change is all I have ever known and I am still changing I have been changing the entire time I've been traveling with you, and this, the entity known as the World Eater is a part of the cycle that gave me my form and my power as I currently understand it. And I believe it is where, I believe that is the, the, the destiny. I can't explain it. There's, it's some, there is something driving me towards it. Ever since we came into contact with the World Eater, even before I knew any of these things and knew about the stone, I, there was something drawing me towards it. It has been part of a story that hasn't been finished for thousands of years, and I think I can, I think I can close that story. My other question is, is there a world in which we all say no, that you still don't actually do it? Because, because it seems as if you've taken a lot of time by yourself and thought about it. And I do, I, for, for, to be frank, I do appreciate you actually coming to us. But it does, it does seem like you have made this, they have made a decision in your mind, be it that the recognition of talking to us is more a formality. On the contrary, friend, I simply don't think I can accomplish it without your help. Hmm. Okay. 
I don't think, as much as I may have, f I may feel that this is my purpose, I don't think I can throw myself off into the void and expect to achieve this goal without help. And nor do I intend to. But I believe our previous way, I don't know if we ever even told you this, our previous way of, of using the oddity to deal with the world, the reason we were seeking the Philosopher's Stone, the Philosopher's Stone was the way to do that. But there is so much life in that stone. It is not barren. It is not thoughtless. It is not just, just the energy. The energy is a conduit for the thousands of souls sacrificed to make that stone in the eye. It's not worth just throwing that into the orrery and saying, let's use these people for our own ends when I think we can help start a new chapter without so much sacrifice. Besides, we did talk to it once, and it, it wasn't all that bad. I trust you, Goliath. I think you believe that you can get this to work, and you're, you're adamant in that it will. I trust you know what you're doing, and I'll do whatever I can to help. That is an alarming statement that I cannot appreciate enough for you to... Listening to you speak, Clay, is it? I don't know. You know when somebody talks about something and in your, your gut, you can tell that it's wrong. Uh, it doesn't feel that way when you're talking mm. about this. And much like Ryujin, you know, you know more about your power than anybody else here in this room. By a fraction. And if yeah. I was in your shoes, and I felt like it was my purpose. I would hope that my friends would help me. So, if you truly believe this is what you are meant to do, then I am honor bound and as your friend will help you. I don't know if there is anything I'll be able to do that will be able to repay that simple sentiment. Thank you. <laughs> you can't write this stuff, folks. Uh, really. And they were roommates. And they were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. Oh my god. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> um, you know, Clias, I don't think I approve of it. But I don't wish to stop you. very specific favor to ask of you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's oh, more! Oh, you know, I love that. Don't you? There is um, a, go ahead. I just, there is a chance that I may not be able to approach the world eater physically speaking to do so. And if the time comes, I would ask that I would ask that you throw me Toss me. Toss me. We. <laughs> we. <laughs> we. And throw me as, as, as physically as hard as you can. I can't weigh much that more than Kevin. I that. definitely much, weigh less than How Kevin. much do you weigh? Is that okay for me? <laughs> <laughs> We've killed hundreds, hundreds of people. people. We're like, please, let me <laughs> just. Well, <laughs> it's across the boundary, but. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, do I have it somewhere in here? Not much. 
Like hundreds yeah, one, of people. Pretty we like definitely killed hundreds of people. One, we have not killed hundreds of people. Probably over a hundred. Uh, in, in the dropping of the prison cell? Yeah, I think so. Dropping the Listen, that okay. Of the whole campaign, <laughs> we probably killed over. We killed. We killed like fifty people in the Longhorn compound alone. Yeah. 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 Well, that wasn't <laughs> really our fault. <laughs> <laughs> only a couple we only fought and a couple people. And the rest got the dusted. Guy. That the they got Thanos. Yeah. Uh, we did not I, I have it written 145. That's, I'm not even. I'm not even a, a, a eight. How of tall what you, is Goliath? Five nine. Wait a second. I don't. Then I weigh a lot. You're only two inches shorter than Reed. Lilith is taller you're, than Goliath. You've gotten a lot thicker because of oh, all your yeah. muscle mass. I have that. So. I weigh 250. I don't. You are, I weigh more than that. You 250. If you were like lean muscle, you're closer than on 300 with your fucking the belt belts? of like yeah. I'm gonna thick boy. <laughs> Guys, if it was a competition, I'm probably like 40 pounds. You can you can, <laughs> yeah, you can toss me like a ball. In the armor. We could juggle you like a soccer armor, ball. In the armor, I'm probably like. In the armor. Is there a version of Darlington where you become the ball? There is now. <laughs> yes. I think Fim Fam uh, probably weight less. That that is all. I am not. <laughs> As you. It's like a beach ball. I don't I, I don't want to impose upon you something that makes you sickened or uncomfortable or or. Throwing you. Well, no, no, I mean in general, oh. this activity, but... You seemed awfully excited. I, I, I am pretty excited about that. I do genuinely believe that I might need that. Well, I will throw you. I, I, can, I can throw, please. Well, I just think... <laughs> I just think that... There weren't any... I... <laughs> uh, we all have trust issues. I have trust issues. I don't know. No, 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 no. Both therapists. You're better. Do you have the sofa down there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Kalias, I just... Look, sometime I, I heard you the other day say that you are tired of people telling you what to do. Yeah. And I don't want to tell you what to do. I appreciate that, but I am not... And I don't want to tell you what not to do. And you are my friend. And as much as it pains me to think about a world in which <laughs> where <laughs> yeah, those are, uh, the, the Turkish don't lie. Mm. Um, uh, as much as Turkey? Might have Turkey in it. Did you put Turkey in there? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Turkish. Turkish delights. That's a pastry. pastry. Yeah, it doesn't have turkey in it. I think it's sweet. He was making it's turkey. Turkey. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's a like rose water turkey jelly. Amalgamation yeah. of Turkish delights. No, I got you. Anyway, anyway, um, I just <laughs> turkey delight. I I don't know how well. <laughs> so sorry. There's some synergy so sorry. happening yeah. over there. <laughs> Someone clip that. Be that. <laughs> Please. I mean you. There was only one time that it is. That's true. It's turkey time. That's true. It's turkey time. It's turkey time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Great. Um, wow. Everybody should enjoy turkey time a little while. Um, <laughs> Jesus. I. Yeah, I, really, uh, I just. My my. Uh, I meant it the other the other day. I don't like a life without you, a group of people. You are a part of that, and 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 a significant one in my life. I am not intending to leave. I didn't intend to die. <laughs> That's so clever. I'm not intending to do that either. Well, um, kind of got your ass. I. To be fair, though, it is not our intention. It is simply an inevitability. And if anybody needs to talk about it, I'm here for it. I might send you back to my homeland. <sighs> they have no intention of dying. And they and they have no inevitability either. They seek to remove that and maybe they need to be told otherwise. You send him as like the prophet of death? Uh, like, <laughs> I guys listen. I <laughs> if I if all goes as as I believe it it could I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't think I will be lost to you. Changed, 
Yes, but not lost. And if I am lost, if I am lost, then I am, I am, I am doing what the version of me that you met in the beginning could not. If I am to lose myself in this endeavor, it is for the sake of safeguarding everything we have done since we left Camden Mesa. Though I want you to hear me, this is not a sacrifice. I am not throwing myself to the jaws of some great beast simply for the act of doing so. Is there a part of you that is doing this because you feel lost in the current way you are currently? Hmm. I have felt lost I know. for a long time. And even thinking about this makes me feel found. Then I support. As long as I get to throw you. He's one over y'all. That's a feat. If, if, that as is. long as I would like to throw you regardless, even if it's just a toss. I, 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 I would even take being thrown around the orbit of the ship. That's cool. So. Maybe practice. I'm just picturing one of those plastic balls and you're just like up against the orbit of the ship just going <laughs> around and your face is smushed. <laughs> What's that, the, the game where you you have a, like a big post outside and a ball tethered to a string? And you're like, tether ball? Tether, tether ball. ball. <laughs> there it is. Ball, I'd like ball. to play... Post. Sorry, excuse me. No, I love tetherball. We, 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 that's <laughs> one of the, so the benefits fun. of our childhood is that the garden in London that we had had a really ratchet tetherball post. <laughs> and yeah. We spent time at such a place. Oh. Uh, we could do that. Man. I could be tethered to the ship and we could, you could throw me. And you could walk me back. What's happening? Practice. Oh, warp. You got it. I didn't hear I that. heard walk. Yeah, me as well. Um, didn't, didn't fully understand. <sighs> thank you. I, 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 I really... I thank you for your patience. Uh, just with me in general, for for the past number of months now, I know it, it hasn't been easy being me, so I can't imagine how difficult it's been being around me, especially lately. Um, I, and I appreciate your willingness to listen, even after, what was one of you said? Somebody called me a brat, and I'm not certain about the definition of that word, but it sounds right. So, I apologize for being a brat. No, if anyone... What the hell what was that, that Woody? <laughs> oh <laughs> God, you were my there. God. <laughs> Never apologize. What was that? <laughs> he was what? commenting on my potential <laughs> sexual Wait, preferences. Are you watching porn over there? We're playing <laughs> because, D&D. Because Brad has a sexual uh, yeah. definition yeah. to it oh. as well. Sorry, guys, I had to do and it. I've been quiet too long. In this corner. I don't um, I don't know if I know. That's, that's okay. I'll learn later. He, that's, yes. that's for the break. Yeah, that's uh, for the break. Um, we can well, go to Google that later together, uh, Dan. It, since oh, we're here God. and I'm feeling open, is there anything else you would like to know? Will your body not be your... You, I have no idea. Are you, are you taking your conscious into another thing? If don't know. You are my body. I know that I'm linking my consciousness to something else. Ideally, what would happen? Yeah, what is your goal? What's, your, what's the, what's the, what's the, yeah, what's the ideal outcome? There? I have a number of different ideal outcomes, okay. actually. Um, there's one where, one where I become a great cosmic serpent. That'd be great. Do you, do you think? Okay. Uh, there is one where... Okay. where <laughs> That's the one you damn ever <laughs> Is that Will talking or Goliath yeah. talking? Absolutely both. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the is yes. there, there's call another call where me. we become two sides of a, of a coin, different facets of a gemstone. There is one where we are neither the original, neither original being, but something new. There is a version where I am, we are bound to each other and things change or I, I, I don't, there are a million possibilities and I honestly don't care which way it ends out. I just know that, that whichever way it falls, Unless it all fails, whatever happens, whatever outcome is the right outcome. And if it fails, what do you want us to do? I was going to say, what if it consumes you? If it consumes mm. me, 
Then that is my penance for being wrong. But what do you want us to do? Whatever you need to. Uh, one day we're in the so. same place as we started. Though. And the then you have the orrery. Before I, before I go, the orrery will be left to you, Vecnit, for you to either use on your own or divide as you see fit. I mean, Kevin is... As a couple of two slots right now. That is true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um. Oh, and Ryujin, the. Well. I don't know why that tickles. I, the, if, in, in the event that I am consumed, the, you have to share the event horizon. Hmm? The pair of you have to share the event horizon. I want you to be able to use it. I want you to be able to study it as you need to. Um. But, I don't know. I feel this feels. I feel like you're giving up your will right now. I am, I am. I'm doing exactly that. Because I don't want to be thrown into the mouth of a serpent and then just be eaten and have no plan for it. Alright, that's fair. But... So... Any outcome other than that is a good Sorry, that was just me farting. Ooh, you, you farted uh, a Doppler effect. If, if that is the way you, you as Fim Fam farts, we need to have a very serious conversation with a medical professional. <laughs> Your colon's in well trouble. Farts. <laughs> well farts, apparently. Your colon is in trouble. There was something literally trapped in that cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I've sealed an elder beast in there. <laughs> no, no. And it got out. Um, okay. I just think that... Yes, worst case, uh, wor- a worst case scenario is, is that you die. A... Probably removed Perhaps from existence, but worse yes. case scenario is that you do fuse with this being. Uh, it does change slightly, but still the prerogative is eat everything in sight. And that now not only do we have to kill it, we also have to kill me. But it, that's the, the, from from what we discussed with it. Prerogative isn't even the right word. This is, I, I believe that in making contact with it and, and guiding it in the way I believe I can, its current paradigm will shift. It has to. That's fair. I don't know. I, I, I am, it is a large ask of faith on your part. I, I do understand that. I just think it's, it's definitely a gamble. And from, from what I can tell, it's already long odds for us to be able to deal with this thing. So if we're down one very powerful, important person, then it's even longer odds. So I, that's why in my mind I'm like, oh, can we find a way that doesn't involve a possible sacrifice? But if, if not, or if there's a, a way we can finagle something to something something, and then something, or maybe something good will happen. That's kind of if life. We're, if we're talking about Goddamn right. options, the option I'm the most... Um, Hesitant. The option ah. I'm, I must hide. It's okay. You get used to it, or you don't, and you live in dissociative hellscape for many years. Um, Whoa! It's okay. Whoa. okay. I'm really. I'm just. I'm trying to figure a lot of stuff out, and and it's also maybe don't teach Kevin about dissociating just yet. It's it's okay, Kevin. You, uh, from an intellectual standpoint, dissociation. Are you familiar with the concept? Dissociation. Yeah. I've been doing that for the last ten minutes. <laughs> see, and, but see there's, there's, positive, there's positives and negatives to everything. Um, but uh, actually, just a point of order. You guys have been seeing Kevin kind of like his eyes have like glazed over, and it's like almost like a. What's going on there, Kevin? But it's it's that 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 brick game where you'd like yeah. hit the ball. <laughs> his, his, his pupils <laughs> have turned into pong really quick. <laughs> Oh, um, it's just like the, the DVD the break, video sign. The breaker. Like, the oh. like every, in like 20 minutes, we'll see. He'll go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We... One point. <laughs> we got him. I'm just glimpsing possible futures. What are you, fucking Doctor Strange? Yes, he literally wait, is. That's yeah, what wait, his job is. Are you, are, you, are you trying to figure out possible options for what can happen here if Kalias does this? Perhaps. This is... You That's have to admit, dope. this is kind of wonderful. That does it's not bad things. so far until he tries. What's it tries to kill prognosis? us. Things are gonna happen. They could be bad, or they could be good. Are there, is there yeah, anything we can do how I wake to up in the morning. contribute to that being a positive outcome? From what you've conceived? What's your strangest divination? That's really not how it no, works. I've seen multiple outcomes. Mm. There's some where perhaps Callias succeeds, mm. and some where Callias will fail. Um, and perhaps where this individuals can see, there's 
large winged creature that will be locked in some sort of battle. Hmm. What? Basil? What battle. large winged battle. creature? Battle. Oh. Look at me talking. Yes. I didn't think the Nithar like, well, It has four Basil. wings. Oh, okay. I don't know if we're the thing where it's battling or if we're staving off something else. We still have to deal I with mean, this. I mean, it plane. did. Maybe. Maybe. I don't. But I, as far as I see it, as long as we. That is a possibility. Well, uh, we won't know until we get to the World Eater. But first, we need to find your family. Ah, that and yes. Um, I bring this crystal back. Um, that's where this little thing is um, difficult. I, if we're. This going down. I think there's just one dude on a bike just. He's one of the he's one of the viewers, and he's like, I'm on it. Art in New York. That's actually just the sound of it scraping. <laughs> um, but it's the Prince Albert. Yeah. Um, my my main issue here, one of the potentialities <laughs> of there it goes. of using, of rather entrapping the Mythog, reverting it, any number of the ideas we had, would either lose the orrery, which would be potentially bad because I, I can't I I can't lose that, but mm-hmm. but I can't particularly after seeing what's in here and cleansing it to this degree and seeing how at peace these things are, I'm hesitant. I can't quite bring myself to push these souls into a purpose of keeping an artifact for me. Okay, so what do you want to do with the soul crystal? It's another ship going past (laughs) Oh, Guardian, this looks pretty bad! Uh, <laughs> Our ship kind of like moves a little bit. Um, God damn it. I, I've been thinking of a number of options. A lot of traffic on the okay. weed lane. What are they? Today. Um, <laughs> firstly, <laughs> firstly, I, I, I don't know. Got it again. With the white ones. With the white ones. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if I can return these souls to the form that they were. Okay. But I might be able to create something new. New forms for them. Do you want to turn them into a robot? Why don't we just all become robots? It's, that's I. I'm just saying that's what I've been saying from day one. Um, <laughs> from day one, from, as in like from, birth. From from <laughs> from day one, that's kind of been my goal. But I'm thinking I, I'm not sure, and I think a lot of these decisions will ride on what the remainder of my clan think, and if there are any more of these, and if so, what I can. That's an option. Okay. One I've been thinking of. Another, and it's a reason I'm hesitant to lose the orrery, is my people don't have a home. And you put them in the orrery? No. No. I could make them a new one. This was our original thought behind using the world you said as a battery. But this is another. How could you make a home? Oh, you make an iteration. Correct. Mm-hmm. I've been behind, I'm sorry. If I... I want you to know that even if my form changes, my intention, if you would choose to do such a thing, is still to assist you in that act. Thank you. But, I don't know. I am gonna disagree with you here. I know I was very agreeable with Callias' thing, but Felicast told us not to do this again. But maybe in the way that he did it. It's a slippery slope. I know. It is. What is the difference between just finding them a nice patch of land? Aye. Or putting them on a land that we know is already good. There is no difference. I know you want to In fact, it's probably a better idea. Not I might have got it on your white shirt. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, we could put them. I don't know. What's a good place? What we are. Delicas was acting either alone or with Doug. Aye. Which is not a particularly good balance, as we have come to learn. 
And what makes you think that we're a good balance? Right. You're, telling, you're telling me not to do it. I'm what? saying you're yes. going to have to convince me quite a lot to... And, and I, want your, I want your clan to have a home. I don't know if this is the answer. It's a big... Uh, Jump? There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of empty space. So you can you can find some some nice real estate. I know a guy. May I ask, may I ask a question of much higher than I understand? This this Ori, is it possible to create a world, see what it does, and then if it fucks up, destroy it real quick? That is where my fear of becoming akin to Thelakas arrives. This is exactly what he was doing. Hi. Yeah. Well, there's nothing on it. There's no people. I know, but I don't intend That's to create something. Even, you create a, role, a world as. Here, all, it wasn't true the last time. Well, I, I, if, if, if there's a world that's nothing on it, and you put what you want on it, right? That's true. The iterations are copies of. But you're creating a brand new thing. Exactly. I'm not. Iteration is a loose term I'm using. It wouldn't necessarily be a replication of anything, it would be something outside, ideally. And I know you are all true, there are places, patches, where they could be safe, but the potential for danger for them. It's the same as making a new plan. And the world eater itself has said to us that everything it consumes, it then uses to create again. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Is what I'm saying. I dislike I the idea. I dislike the idea. Like, heart, full stop. I don't understand. There's no reason that's been said that makes it more. Uh, like, taking the Feywild, it's great. I know, but. It's awesome. Is there danger <laughs> there? There's danger, there's danger everywhere. everywhere. Perhaps. And, you can't, and you can't put a shell around, uh, around people, you know? Like, that. We, what, you'd also be cutting them off from other cultures and other people. That's, and, that's immoral. And this is why. I haven't come to a decision without speaking to my clan. I think we table this discussion until we find your family. You. Let me talk to my realtor, and we're going to find him a great slot. <laughs> what right? is a, what's Jesus. a realtor? But, and I look, at, I look at Kevin, a new option has somewhat presented itself, and this is very early. I'm still thinking about it. But there's only so much of understanding I can do with this thing. I get a sense that Kevin might be able to interface with it a little more clearly. Are you trying to ET with it? What is this look? I'm going to bring you the same... Pause. Pause. For Thank you. Pause. Um, I'm going to give you the same spiel I gave to Kalias when we were working on it. I'm going to prepare a number of preventative actions. I can help you this time. And if anything begins to go wrong with your interface with this crystal, I will shut the magic and you down. It takes its Danish or its little pastry, just smashes in its face. <laughs> we I, I do I do appreciate your sentiment. Your heart is is admirable. We uh, we oh. and I'm gonna I'm gonna float it up and approach near you. I'm gonna I'm going to I don't know if I can simultaneously prepare two actions. No. Do you want to prepare to spell or I've got counter spell on lock. I, I, lock. I don't know whether or not to, does anyone have dispel magic? Uh, I have dispelling stones. Hugh can be there. Hugh, if you want to prep dispel magic, I'm prepping my EMP. Do we want to? I have counter spell. I Let's also have dimensional shackles. Incredible. So Hugh doesn't need. I, to I can EMP. I need to be. Oh, you. Okay. Huh? Or okay. oh, you right. both can use dispel magic. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Some I also have dispel magic. If it, you want to shut yeah. yourself that down, also <laughs> that's cool too. Also, does the EMP make the ship? No, Warforge. It's it's oh, it's a little rebuke oh, undead. Right, it's right. rebuke Warforge, like a sailor. The okay, it floats over, and it just kind of gets started right to his finger, and he just goes a little. Pull my finger. And here, it goes, goes, boop. The prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Tentacles. <laughs> um, no. In a moment, you just hear the boop, <laughs> and then you just hear the, see the lights kind of in its eyes, kind of like almost like taking like an old timey photo, like, and come oh, back, oh. and it floats back. Do you see? There's lots to see in there. Isn't there? Yeah. 
the individuals, some wish for a second chance. And I talked to quite a few of them. Oh, that's more than I did. They can, can, they can gather a consensus. They, they, they certainly were feeling when I was in there, but they weren't what did you do? talking. How did you communicate with them? Uh, without, uh, pan, uh, Kevin just looks at you, and in your head, you hear vibes. Ah! And then vibrates a little bit. <laughs> oh, we got a text. Oh, yeah. Damn, now he knows vibes. Aren't they great? That's, this is wonderful. That didn't process as like a message or a sending spell. That is, uh, so he talked into your brain. Raw, not even tele. tele- I love Kevin! Sorry for him. He has the feet telekinetic. Oh, or yeah, telepathic. I mean, I don't. Should I? We can discuss this on break, but I, I, I've rolled. I rolled Kevin's stats ages ago. Oh, I can buy. I just made some fake ones right now, but oh, I can do some more. Can. Yeah. Lit. Uh, uh, Perhaps. During Christmas. Yeah. That would be a long time to sort through all of them, but the ones I want to talk to, many of them wished to. For a second chance, their well-being and their livelihood was stolen from them, and they would like to find somewhere new. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask them if they wanted a whole new planet to themselves. <laughs> Probably for the best. There are uninhabited planets on this plane. <laughs> but they... Tech one I created. Also, most of them are really dangerous. And that's my charge. That's, 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 that's my fault. That's on me. But, Rec, <laughs> sometimes, and this is an old code that I find, perhaps it's a memory. Maybe it's from Thelicas. Unsure. And kind of like looks off. But, sometimes you love something too much and you squeeze too hard. And then you break it. And the juice comes out. And the juicy juice juice comes out. And it's no longer wee. It's ew. <laughs> Thank you. Do you catch my vibe? Wreck uh, Rec isn't going to do it because he's not really feeling it right now. But he, he just like turns a subtle vibration on in the suit. And just, I do in, in theory, I guess. Um, do you remember what it was like inhabiting the moon? Please tell me. Throw me no. It's the most Kalias storytelling storybook thing well, I've ever you, heard. Well, you, we tried to download as many of your memories as possible, and I wonder, I wonder what your change of consciousness feels like. I don't know. Are you going to regain your memory? Are you going I'm to still searching through there the old databanks. So maybe? Do you remember everything that's ever happened to you? No. But you're a I'm robot. I'm like you, yeah. Yeah, you have the capability of doing that. I disagree, I think we are more alike than you think. But you have the capability of inside of you remembering but everything that's ever happened. My meat computer does not work like a technical computer. Don't ever call yourself a meat computer again, please, for the love of God um, and all that is holy. In, in fairness, I, 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 I can't feel. I, I, I feel like I'm a meat computer. Reckoning, you are not a meat computer. Think it. A meat pooter. Nope. Nope. That one. <laughs> I would argue that that is, from what I've learned of, mm. of synthetic processes that flesh computer. That's worse. Sorry. No, I, that's I, worse than I, I don't. I, I like meat computer better than flesh computer. And I think it is accurate to an extent because I don't know flesh is that thing where you where you, you flesh, think so. something into being more more improved than it was. That sounds very like what this Kevin has just been doing. So then, what makes the pair of you different? I'd appreciate it if I'm not referred to as a computer. I'm. I'm, I'm not talking about your brain. I'm referring to Reknit as a computer. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm okay. saying if Reknit and you have similar capabilities in terms of using raw thought power to improve any given current situation, what makes the flesh computer any different than a synthetic computer or a an artificial intelligence? There, there is almost no difference at your level of skill. I'm just a little more 
vulnerable to age. Yeah. You guys have to touch grass. Yes, thank you. Yes, well, I agree. I would love, I would love to I'm not a computer. No, you're not. I'm a person, and my name's Kevin. Nergron, yes, how far away yes, are we from the Shattered are. Sphere? Actually, you was about to chime in. We're closing in upon our destination promptly. Oi. Thank God. Uh, if we were on part of a sea sailing vessel, I believe I would start to say land ho. What did he just call her? But it's a, a, a shattered purple mm. ch- glass divine shirt. Oh. What? Okay. Mm, that's, uh, this is the first time we are hearing of that. The shattered sphere is divine shards. Yeah. Of what? Y- no. You, you. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. The um, shattered okay. sphere. It was created as a cage for oh. when Nintak was going, and then it minutes. broke. It's in my notes. Um, and uh, it was created by uh, uh, yep. massive beings. Um, Let's go. <laughs> The divine um, Giga Chad. Suffice to say, we're here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the Kunor- Kunordinates. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? The Kunordinates uh, that we received from the Gargalans uh, area have led us right about here, and you hear a. And you come. <laughs> you come. I was, I was hoping. No. I was hoping one of you would say that. We're here. Damn it. We've we made it. <laughs> every every like floorboard kind of goes. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. Why? Alright, are we gonna take a break now? Um, <laughs> and as you come out, come out of void speed, uh-huh. you see nestled, just barely peeking out, of these shards of glass, almost like mountains in space. Now, almost like in a, a massive arc in front of you, you see a small, floating half dome village, with a picturesque mountainside. A pond, a wait, river. Wait a second, just put this back together. And let me tell you. We may have solved the problem. And when the light hits the river, just right, right those hills sink. Great. And great. that is where we're going to take our break. All right, we'll be back in like 16, 16 minutes. minutes. And whoever puts the like reference first spot, in the chat gets a high five for me. Right. Right. Enjoy the intermission Topia. show. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome to Bards of New York. The live, chaotic, beautiful mess that we all know and love, where we usually, at one point, will play D&D together. We'll be starting to play D&D at some point soon, and then probably stop, then start again, and then stop, <laughs> and then giggle, and I'll fart a bunch, and then we'll have a good time. <laughs> Why even do the stream? <laughs> I, I, you're, you're hitting the nail too hard on the head, man. Come for the D&D, but stay for the absolute chaos. That is Barcelona New York. I love you.
it. Just try your best, come on. Somebody, you know. Did you say bagels and schmear? Bagels and schmear. You know, somebody came up here and. I didn't realise there was a New York over there. Uh, <laughs> I you know. Not mine, from uh, Old York, yeah? Okay, <laughs> old York. Okay, my bad, my bad. Bagels and schmear. No. Say, hey, I'm walking hey, here. Hey, I'm walking here, alright, you know. I'm just. It's still you know, here. <laughs> it's immediately back. You know, Yara, I'm having, I'm having all kinds of trouble. And <laughs> now you sound so like, cow. you sound like a British person trying to do an American. Yeah, like you're like, oh, I did, I just did. I How dare you? Wait, wait, wait. Your mama. Do not read through the book and down the skin. Do you understand how distracting that is? We're thinking about saving the city and using your life nobly, and now you've said don't, don't read, read the book, book with the skin, skin. <laughs> and now that's all I'm right, thinking all about. Thinking about. So very interesting. That's all I'm going that's to be. What kind of skin? I don't know what you think you're gonna do? You look at who we are. You've been That's the first book I'm gonna read. Why that's exactly what. Smoke. It's okay. They're like this sometimes. <laughs> yeah. To me, you have always been the brightest star, been the most powerful star. I kiss her.
couple that are harvest flavored. They say it's more of a savory sweet almost. Like it has a very almost like umami sort of sense to it. And it's uh, umami. Y'all. Excellent. <laughs> Y'all. Excellent work. It was ubiquitous and it made me upset. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to buy pastries. This large pentagonal. 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 You'll be pentagon. Pentagon owl. Pentagonal. Diagonally. Somebody called pentagon. Pentagonally. Pentagonagonally. Get the fuck oh out of here. Pentagony. <laughs> <laughs> what did you smell burning toast? Pentagonal. Pentagussy. Pentades. That was so feeble. Guys, let's stop being so mean uh, to women. <laughs> no, 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 if I, if I, was, may, if I may was, support it you. It was a really valiant uh, attempt. How, what, how many sides does that thing have? What sort Five. of? Five. So, say that again. Pentagonal. Penta gaggle on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs>
the mechanic where you make choices as your character that then affects the world at large. To me, there's no better version of that than D&D, where not only do you get to escape to a world and make choices within it as a character entirely your own, that then your own choices are a catalyst for an evolution of the world that evolves with you, but you get to do that with other people. So it's not just a pre-thought out, I'm gonna make these choices to make these things happen. It's a group of people all that you can have banter with and laugh with, but at the end of the day, you are exploring a world for the first time together as a group, making these little chaotic decisions which bloom across the world, causing it to change with you and grow with you as your characters level up and grow. What brings me back to D&D over and over and over again is like assisting in the growth and the blossoming of a world that will be cultivated by accident through a ragtag group of adventurous actions.
we are. Damn sir. it! Ah, uh, got me. All right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Dan tagged you very hard. <laughs> really hard right there. So, as we come back to this, as we back come, back come, Stop come it. on the back. Stop it. Not was, you. I appreciate okay, come on. I, I want to fight something. Okay. In the video, there was. I'm pretty sure there was. Stop it. Um, <laughs> that's one of the best uh, bloopers of all time. Just throw that out there. Okay. Oh so as you guys uh, come to this vivarium, it looks like a, a floating domed village. Um, as your ship approaches it, you see um, various huts and teepees and tents and small cabins of various um, makes and sizes. Um, just kind of in a, a slight circle in the center of this um, vivarium. Um, itself is probably about... A, sorry, I didn't know if we had music playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one wasn't a joke. A league. Uh, a square league, if you will. Um, with... There, you see there's some hills. Uh, a large... A good chunk of it's taken up with a... Seems like a, a lake of a sorts, but a, a pond, more size-wise. Size um... A small woodland area, uh, and uh, also this valley in the center that's adjacent to the lake that houses this village. Um, the river run that runs down through the hills to the lake runs just on the outside of the village. Um, the river does not run through it in this case. Um, and as you come down, as you see the ship kind of circling the vivarium. We're only perception checks, everybody. Also, just I, I have to do this for myself. Make sure you have taken a long rest, all of you DD Beyond users. I know that I hadn't done that. Take an actual long rest? Yeah, we've been we've been on the boat for five days, and when we started this session, I was still in the throes of uh, the things that spent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. God, I did that too. Okay. Perception, you said? Uh-huh. Garbage. Um, let's go from Dan over. Dan? That's a 16. All right. Uh, 11. I'm, I'm a little enthralled. Okay. Natural 20. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Most grass I've seen in forever, nine. Nine? 30. For how much? Natural 20. Jane? Natural 20. Two natural 20s, all right. Mm. Um, and a 30? And a 30. Wait, you're, what did you roll? What was your physical? A 19. Oh, Correct. Wow. Correct. Okay. I got a 32. As you guys are with the natural <laughs> 20s, uh, you notice... There is something else flying among the crystals. You can't really make out because it's such it's literal like the ship has to like navigate through them. It's almost like like icebergs in a way. Um, but you keep every once in a while the two natural twenties. You see this silvery, dusty looking, la large figure through the shards. That does not throw me. Do you share that? Absolutely. No. <laughs> no, we did that to ourselves. One of us. Oh. Okay. But you also see okay. all of these goblin and goblinoid villagers coming out from all of these huts and uh, uh, pit houses and teepees of various sorts. Um, some have been scrapped together with uh, machinery parts. Others have been scrapped together out of rocks or wood. Some to be little, like literal, more like hobbit holes in a style. Um, it is a, a very eclectic group of homes. Two ten. Uh, looks quite nice. It certainly does. Um. You guys bring the ship down. Yes. Okay. Nergron brings the ship down and is like, right. Here we go, and parks the ship right on the edge of town. Um, from there, you see a uh, small goblinoid with a small cape and a staff walk out kind of to the center. Um, and could I have a, a, a scratcher? Oh, there's one right here. Back scratcher! Back scratcher. Thought scratcher. To the center. Do you want us to switch some people to us? Sure. For everyone at home. The top down battle cam, or a scenery cam. If, uh, I, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm basically sorry. be at the right edge of the ship. I'm gonna <laughs> open up. I'm gonna remain in the suit. Game I'm set. Hop. If I if I can, am I safe to hop out of the the ship? Yeah, yeah. The ship has now landed. 
<laughs> um, and is there? <laughs> Fully um, naked. So I'm gonna. Do we have? Do we have old people? For this? <gasps> oh, we'll switch away from it. Um, I'm gonna hop out. What? I'm gonna hop out, sort of right to the the side here, um, awesome. and with myself sort of shown as uh, as a goblin. I'm going to Dish our friends, not food. Basically, basically, just let them know who I am, and I'm gonna hold my cloak up, which has the sigil of the New Life Clan. Um, you hold it up, and this um, older goblinoid individual kind of looks up and goes, "Any record, like, do I um, have a sees that symbol and kind of leans on their staff and goes, "That is a symbol we have not seen in many moons." Uh, uh, my name is 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 Reknit. I'm from the Jadu clan. Do you come seeking a payment? What? Last time a ship came here, they took our taxes. But we didn't expect you for many, many seasons. Did we do something wrong? No, no. Gargalon is gone. You're free. Gargalon is gone? Yes. Good heavens. I am, um, I am here to help you. You hear like a murmur among all of the little goblinoids everywhere. Yeah. You just thought of a myth. Ding Sorry. dong. Gargalon's gone. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Gargalon's gone. Um, it's fucking dead. How, I must ask, how did this tyrant perish? In, in great detail, and you hear everybody kind of go, yes, 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 oh, uh, of I, course, I, we'd like to hear this. I look back, and I hope all of you guys are sort of like rallied up against the, the railing. It was us. Lilith slaps the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'll share this, the story of exactly... This baby right here. I'm going to Simba goggle on spellbook up into the air. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> are you not in today? I'll, I'll take the. I'll take the. Wow, I'm still holding on to it. So I, I oh, might as well use it. Um, I, I take the the tricorn, the three pronged pointed spear, the ruby spear that I found at my clan's. Yeah. Time, and I slam it into the ground. <laughs> Do you like throw it from the edge of the ship onto the ground? Oh, or? I'm, I'm, I'm oh you're on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Sort of like, it's over. <sighs> you don't have to fear him anymore. That is. Um, Amazing news. But there is the guardian of the vivarium. Is that what... I, I describe in brief what Ryujin and, and Fim Fem um, described. The Silver British Shadow. Yes, that, that should be... Um, it is nearby. Um, you see quickly, kind of like, like smacks a stick on the ground and uh, villagers start to head towards the huts. Yes. Um, we, can do, we can... You can fight it. If that's what you wish. If it is the last vestige of this prison that that tyrant made for us, perhaps once that has been rid of, we could be free once more. And I will do it. Goliath is going to summarily take the comet card from the, from the <laughs> walk on and just like... <laughs> you go to rip it? Doesn't rip. Okay, well, I'm gonna discard it. You're getting rid of it? Yeah. Okay, as you go to throw it, it shines red and right up in front of you. I think you should try to eat it. What's, what's going on up there? Nothing. I just am getting rid of my, um. Oh, that stupid my, card. My, the card. Oh. Uh. I have the choice. I yes. Stay yeah, you do have the choice. Yeah. This is this is you. It's now as you now see. Almost like in a moment, you see this figure come out from the sky, a gargantuan lunar dragon. Oh, oh shit! Yep. You, don't, you, you don't think you got that? <laughs> not not. Into, I mean, maybe if I was a planet-eating ancient serpent god, then maybe, but I'm not, so... Oh, we should have done that first! So, no, <laughs> I won't be doing that. Already on the way. Um, <laughs> goodbye, so Comet. Bad. Nice to see you. You're a fabulous waste of resources. Alright, uh, this little uh, card, kind of, yeah, it kind of like card. turns red and fish right through it, and it disappears into dust. Bit of a Marvel snap. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a Marvel snap. 
Yeah. Exactly. You call me Go Yondu. Yeah, I got Yondu. Um, or Lady Sift. Um, yeah. Cool. China. Okay. So uh, now, as after that, the time kind of like picks back up for you, Kalias, and you are all able to look up. Everybody could take the gnomes off of the deck for me. Are they scampering back into their They're homes? scampering into their homes. So if you so want to literally put them under those things, I was about you to say, could. Are they in? If they're in the houses, we should probably be cognizant of that. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, I am itching for a combat. Wait, know, wait a, a second. A mm -hmm. um, Protect them. Flying down and landing dead center is. Just whom, whom, whom. This mm -hmm. gargantuan lunar dragon, a long, slender body, more in the style of a, 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 a Chinese mythological mm -hmm. dragon. Hell yeah. Uh, a worm. Oh, oh yeah, truly a worm. Um, and it kind of looks up and goes, "You have destroyed my father." Oh. I will consume you. Um, right Roll initiative. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. Nope, you can't. You're not getting shit off. Uh, not in this house. He's had uh, no prep. Uh, no prep time. Uh, damn. Uh, no less than three. Where are the prep. interns? The interns? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, are they fighting? Uh, are the interns? They could, they could, they could you just uh, man the ship with key, or the cannon with key. Oh, Daniel. Well, one of them is oh, Don't worry. under I, John's control. The fairies, we, we rolled like trash. Um, also, could you place this for our good friend? Oh. Oh. King, king, king. Is, this, is that? That's for Kevin. Oh! oh. Oh. Yeah, Even as, as you guys, he's found himself like just like a bit of clothing is a, a black duster, and you see he has this uh, piece of uh, cane that is he's gonna use as like a pseudo quarter staff, but it's like a shorter quarter staff. Y'all worry about the interns. Worry about the level four fighter. Oh yeah, do you have? A, we need a mini for him too. Um, I will serve you with my life. He's just been t posing. Yeah, he's been like. Oh, 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 oh. He's been. Um, does he have a name? I forgot his name. Uh, E.B. E.B. Here, choose a e. mini e. for E.B. E.B. E. Farnham. Okay, well, E.B. my ass. E.B. <laughs> e. my ass. E.B. E. For those of you watching, yes, that is our liquor collection. collection. It's actually, there's something really cool about the seeing the depth of the kitchen. It makes us, this, this battle look like it's happening in a floating area. Mm. Okay, uh, for our good buddy, um, I'm just gonna write what he got real quick, guys. One second. Try not to hit the table, y'all. Um, That'd be I didn't beat him off. Don't tell me what to do. Sorry. <laughs> you should try not to hit the table as in because of the. And then he became a jazz musician. Okay. Um, who got a uh, yeah. who got above a twenty? What'd you get? A twenty-two. A twenty-two. Oh, what times? What what role do you play? <laughs> What role? What when 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 queuing up for an Overwatch Watch game? Twenty-two. No, 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 no. I'm saying, where where does Thinker fall in DPS? Twenty-two is Thinker. Think cool. Yeah. Okay. Think but I think I think Remarch is a better a better suit because there is there is support like. All right. Uh, who got uh, fifteen to twenty? Oh, I also got. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes, go. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh. Sorry. You're good. Um, fifteen to twenty. I got a twenty. 20? 18. 18, so 20. For Fim. The furries rolled like garbage. <laughs> no surprise there. 19. Huh? My dex is excellent. It's my dice that are the problem. <laughs> oh, so Tempest rolled a 22. I just rolled it, so. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me get up Vespa here. Um, also, do you have. Uh, uh, you pulled it natural. It's one. Kevin Stats. Uh, yeah, am I? Are you, I have. Are you, you're running for Kevin. Yeah, I'll, I'll run Kevin. Okay. All right. Also, if you, uh, no, we can. Oh, damn it, we I'm, I'm going to. Okay. We did do the, uh, the stats that did was, of a break. Huh? No, did you hear what I said? That he rolled the natural twenty. Eb. Eb rolled the natural yes. twenty. We'll He's gonna get literally eaten. I'd oh, love I love this. I, 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 it's, it's, What's the total now? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, it means if it means that if if he's shit to me, it's not your responsibility. You don't have to take the other. I'm just gonna have him go first, just just to go first. We don't have any more dragon slaying rounds, do we? Nope. Now let me check. The last one. I'm pretty sure the last one was. I missed the second one. And yeah. the third one yeah. uh, was the nail in the coffin. But 
Um, the, the interns could man the, could man the cannon. Shield. Okay, uh, who got uh, 15 to 10? E. I got a 12. Oh. What'd you get? Wow, I got a 10. Nice. Healer goes last. Healer goes last, y'all. You know, the healer I am. Oh, let me... The game wants you to be here. Uh, Vespa got a nice five. Every day I regret the fact that I put a f my intelligence higher than my dexterity. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a critical failure. Yeah. Literally. All right. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, just um, making a character. So as this lunar dragon lands, the, the boom, 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 boom. And it comes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he comes. Um, um, um it, technically, right off the bat, it is EB. Go on, EB. A level okay. four fighter. Um, oh, this, this, gonna, this is a this is a crazy the lineup. I, right? I want a fan art of this of us on the on the boat. This is EB. Ready to jump this off. Is, this is giving uh, this is giving that for anyone who's played Mass Effect DLC when you're yes. coming up the land. EB's gonna go down. The, sorry, no, it's, no, I'm literally speaking. Yes. Um, he's gonna go down the hold the cannon. Oh, down here. This, yeah. is the, yeah. this is ground. That's ground. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you like want to load stand it from on below? it? Yeah, yeah. You, you can totally up stand up on it. Huh? You can load it from. Up then what's below the boat? Or, on? Or the boat's on the ground. Oh. Yeah. It has like some like he like his uh, Nergon's like has some fire. branches that reach out he and kind of bit stabilize it. Oh, nice. Ooh. So the the he's using his actions. Oh. Using it to load the action. Okay, that's that's his. His cannon. first action. Um, he has a natural 20. Does he do any other? Oh, I guess the, uh, aim it. Yeah, sure. So, uh, he, 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 run, so he runs in. <laughs> goes, he's like, oh. he's like, I got it. And he runs in and like, oh, yeah, fucking yeah. And then just like runs up, like crawls up the stairs. Like, okay, I got it. And like, tick, 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 tick. nice. Uh, and it is pointed at the dragon. It is pointed at the dragon. Okay, cool. Um, now it is Ryujin, your turn. Um... Okay, Ryujin's gonna go and shoot the cannon. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, get out of my place. He's like, uh, Listen, uh, if they thanks for doing this work. Hey, for me, Captain, uh, uh, sir, uh, master, yeah. uh, friend, uh, Ryujin, uh, you can go ahead and go on and take it now. Awesome. Well, I mean, technically, his sword yeah, to me is my. Oh, no. As your what? My. Until you go down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the it. Literal what? Best friend. Yes. <laughs> he is. He, uh, he is Patrick to my SpongeBob. Okay. He's happy to be here. Yeah. You are my Thane. <laughs> they like yeah, it. He's, he's, he's your Lydia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, house call. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. You are the Thane. No, carry on. All right. Yeah, he's like. Thane. He's like. All right, Thane. Go so, ahead. Yeah. He doesn't say Matthew. Um, so I, I. You find the, the yeah. So roll me a uh, dexterity. It was um. It's a plus six to hit with a cannon. Cool. Yeah. Plus six to hit. Roll me a dexterity. See, just. Uh, it's just a uh, plus six. Roll. Well, it's six plus your dexterity modifier. Gag. Just sorry. Six. six. And that's additional. Is it? So you basically do. Sorry. It's six plus your dexterity modifier. To add to the roll. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The ballista we're talking about after you fight. Oh yeah. Twenty-five. Right. Twenty-five. That hits. Roll yeah. for damage. What does this? Uh, Oh, it's 8d10, and since I'm not cycled to weapons, which I can probably do, if we think that's better, it will be a faster reload, only two people per cannon necessary, and it will increase by 4d10. So I should probably... That's power cycle weapons! I mean, we do that next time. Probably power cycle weapons. 6d10? No, it's 8d10 bludgeoning, and then if we power cycle, we'll increase by 4d10. Better be a total of 12d10, which is very good. So 8d10 plus nothing. Ooh, that was a great roll. Wonderful roll. Um, Even fucking D and D Beyond is what's true. Sixty-four. Sixty-four Ooh. points of damage. Wow, sixteen off max. Okay. All right. Okay. Sixty-four points of damage. Got you. All right, sixty-four points of damage. You kind of aim it up and boom, and this thing just kind of like hits and like it, make, it makes contact. It doesn't do any dam like like puncture damage or anything like that. Just kind of. Bounces off of it, but you kind of go. I don't think you are. Um, okay, cool. Is that the end of Ryujin's turn? Uh, no, I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, send out Aron. Bamf out Aron. Yeah. Do I have Aron? Aron. I choose. Oh yes, yes, yes. You. Unless you wanted to use that. I can use something else. <laughs> okay, you bamf out Aron. Go yeah. ahead and place him 30 feet from you. 
Well, I can place it up to. Up to three feet, yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. That's Auron out, and that's the end of your turn, Ryujin? Yes. Thinker, your turn. Tempest oh. is on deck. Okay, uh, I'm going to start making my run. Then Fem, you're in the hole. Um, you as go. I'm making my run, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Megron power cycle weapons. I'm going to make my way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when that'll be able to happen, but I can't be doing it right now. Five, ten. Oh my god, you're soloing. 25, 30, 35. What's that drawing? 15. What's that dog line anymore? Lit! Um, I'm gonna run up. Um, I'm, as I'm running, I'm gonna use my bonus action to defensive field. I'm gonna increase my temporary hit points by 15. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to use uh, the Dimensional Cloak's uh, fold space to do the Janemba portals. And I'm gonna choose a portal directly behind the dragon's head to hopefully act as a surprise attack since it's seeing me roll up. Okay. At least for the first hit. I'm gonna dimension. I'm gonna fold space. No action required for that. And it treats it as if I'm within five feet of it. And I'm gonna go for my first little thunder gauntlet hit. Uh, thunder gauntlet hit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. You uh, the poomph, and you can make an attack. Uh, it is. He has uh, like like uh, blind sight within this amount, okay. so he knows so you're no there. surprise. Yeah. Excellent. No surprise. Okay. That is gonna be a twenty-three to hit. On the Thunder Gauntlets? A 23 to hit on the Thunder Gauntlet? That is going to hit. Okay. Do you want me to roll uh, to hit both first? Uh, yeah. I've got two attacks. Yes, roll for both attacks okay. first. Second up. Ooh, that's a nat natural one on the second one, baby. Nice. That's a natural one. Spend them now. Spend okay. Them now. Yeah, so you, your first one contacts and it kind of like shifts and like this is not like the like the physical form is not like the other dragons you fought, so you kind of slim mm. and oh. just miss on that second attack. Damn. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah. In total though, not, not the best damage I've ever done. 10. Oh, okay. That's 21 points of. Uh, do you need differential between bludgeoning, magical bludgeoning, and magical thunder? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I just do pure thunder damage with my gold. Thunder. Th th thunder damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I do pure thunder damage on my gauntlets. I apologize. 9, 10, You better 15, fucking 20. apologize. That's, that's 21 points of thunder damage to the guy. Disadvantage on all attack rolls. Spell attacks <laughs> to anyone other than me. Are okay. okay? Uh, so 21? <laughs> 21. 21. Please. 21. That, that's my action, bonus action. That. Okay, yep, that's me done. Okay, yeah, you, uh, th boom, th boom, and like, ah, <laughs> uh, now. Gross. As you punch it, you almost see like a ripple of like this iridescent uh, shift in color and form as the flesh ripples when you hit it. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. It ripples when you hit it. Okay. That's um, nice. Cool, that is the end of your turn, Thinker. That is the end of my turn, thank you. Tempest. Then Fim and then uh, Vesper. Tempest is uh, just gonna use his. No, I'm sorry, not Vesper. I'm sorry, not Vesper. I have I have the Vivarium Dragon as this, as V I V. Now I thought it was Vesper. Sorry, well, Tempest. Uh, Tempest is just gonna use his hunter awareness, hunter sense, so he can check its uh, vulnerabilities and uh, immunities. Okay, it is um, resistant to all non-magical damage. Uh, and it also is immune to cold. Okay. That's huge to know. Any... Immune to cold? Anything else? What's Any the other vulnerabilities? stuff? Vulnerabilities? Uh, no vulnerabilities. Cool. Mm -hmm. It is used to the void, cold of the void, basically. Same. Um, That's... Cool, cool. That's that. Uh, now let's go ahead and, uh, is that the end of Tempest's turn? Yeah, because, well, do we have any... Minis for Tempest? Okay. Yeah, here. You could run, I suppose you could run. A There's, there, you can use one of the little, the little ones that I have in there. Most of the little things are in there. If you want to grab one, go ahead, please do so. Feel free to. Um, <laughs> They've been uncovered. Uh, no, you people. Oh, do we put it back, put it back? <laughs> that one really is kind of a, the Patrick home right there. <laughs> I like this one. That is the top of a, uh, like a uh, of a diffuser. <laughs> Listen, I think that's perfect, Onion. perfect goblin architecture. Yeah. In my opinion. Goblin texture. Kind of looks, it reminds me of Teletubbies. Oh, yeah. La la. Nice. Oh. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
Is, I wonder if Vesper's last on the docket. Can I? Do you have a uh, Vesper is second to last. Last is Kevin. <laughs> Go on, is Kevin. Who's in the black? Yes, that's, oh, who's, okay, in the, that's okay. who's in the black. Uh, Kevin's found like this like nice like kind of trench coat and a hat to put on. Kevin. Um, what, what is Kevin? Kevin's a wizard. Divination wizard. I know, but Div- what level are we dealing with here? Fifteen. Oh, yes! Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a time stop pretty soon. Uh, but Kevin uh, actively has very few offensive spells. Mm-hmm. I made that because it's a uh, it's more of a debuff wizard because it's like I don't want things to fight, right. or I'm gonna make it harder for things to fight. They're they're perfect. Piece of they're perfect. Yeah, I mean, if, if Rackling dies, they're a perfect. <laughs> my boy. Yeah. Oh, I need to give him the staff. <laughs> okay, things to oh think about. Oh my god. I need to give him the staff. Um, okay, cool. The, the, the uh, I yeah, believe it yeah. is now uh, Fim Fam Doodle's turn. Woo! Right, gotta, let's see what you can do. Gotta Prove yourself. Make, Prove yourself. Gotta make a splash. <laughs> gotta Here we go. Splash. <laughs> splash, me. Splash, me. splash me. Splash me. Splash me. Splash me. Splash me. I'm ne- I need to be splashed. I'm splashing. <laughs> I'm splashing. I'm splashing. He, he, move, he moves around a little bit, and then suddenly... <laughs> The winds move with your actions. <laughs> you too. Suddenly, he opens his mouth and emits a, a sub-level, subsonic <laughs> note that you feel with it. It's like Mongolian inside. throat singing. <laughs> and he, th- and he th- puts his arms out, and everything just lights up. And in front of him, he's going to use his ability, Performance of Creation. Oh. In which I can make... In a non-magical item of my choice uh, in an unoccupied space within 10 feet of you. So right in front of me, it is a huge Hitch. statue of Fimfam. Huge statue of Fimfam? Okay. Get the get, uh, the, stor- get the storm giant out. Uh, storm giant's <laughs> in my room. I'll be right back. Get the fucking storm giant. I'll be right back. It's also made of gold. Lilith there. says, oh, I can see how Fim Fam's related to Bim Bam now. This makes sense. <laughs> now it tracks. I'm making a splash. <laughs> it smells can, like a fart in my room. What the fuck? It smells like an absolute you, dookie in my room. Did you fart in there during the break? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't open the door. Let's <laughs> stop. It's like an absolute dookie. It's the colossus of rose. So just a, just a, uh, uh, right now yeah. it's inanimate. On a scale of one Right to- now. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, on a scale of one to Giga Chad, how chiseled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many favors are you doing for yourself? Uh, he's, he's modest. I don't know if I, I don't know what it's But is it like like low-cut shirt with a hint a of abs? This is what he looks like. This is what he looks like. But a modest, like. modest one. He's completely nude. <laughs> okay. With a fig leaf. Oh. Okay, well, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. But you can't see his ass. <laughs> Are, are we talking cake or is it like? Are we talking about? Is he like, is he double cheeked up on a <laughs> I mean, on a Monday night? Yeah, I mean, in general, Fim Fam's Fim Fam's got like he's not as. Can we as roll an ass? Yeah, I was, check, I was guys. about to say on a scale of one to Fibonacci. Roll a sequence, booty how check. Round is this no, 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 no. He's, he's he's doing all right. Okay. <laughs> he's, not, he's not winning any. Uh, so you from that you like that like vibration? It's like uh, it just like. And creates this. Immaculate statue, and you see some of the goblins going. <laughs> My word, that is simply majestic. My word. <laughs> How far am I away from? Uh, I mean, I, uh, from Thinker. I mean, Thinker's on top of the dragon right now. So make a move, Thinker. No, 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 no I'm not. Oh, that's like you punch through. Yeah, like oh, you're you're portaling the cavalry's to punch. here. Yeah. The cavalry's here. Janemba is the perfect. Yeah, it is what it is. It's, but it's, it's, people yeah, haven't seen it. That's fine. Um, I'm going to, as a, <laughs> as a bonus action, I'm going to inspire Inger. <laughs> My brain is even bigger now. Jesus Christ. Okay. The Lord of the Wind strikes. Yeah, literally, it's like very spooky. That wind was spooky as fuck. Help us okay, now I believe it I'm is. My oh, so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought you were okay. goofing. Oh. oh wait, hold on. No, this is good, guys. We gotta let hey, this happen. What is going on? Go ahead, Bye. please. Mr. Tin Man 
help us so please. You are a big tank of goblin prestige. But you have this suit on top of your green. Oh, won't you help us with your flash? Yeah. Oh yeah. my yeah. Uh, fuck, Kyle. Yeah. I'm inspired. Kyle, well, why have you never played a bard uh, yeah. before? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I wrote this last week on my train right here. I was so excited. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what do you get? A D10 now? What is oh, shit. I don't. <laughs> New this is what, D8, D10, what is it now? Song, you know? I, it's like, I think at that level, it's <laughs> Oh, that, that helps? It's, it's high. Yeah, okay. It's well, while you give D8, that. D10. Let me look it up. But yeah, I give you inspiration. Motherfucker. Yeah! Oh, Barnes. Uh, it is a D12. Oh D it's a D12 God. already? Yep. So the, we're level 15. 15. Well, okay, that's right. That's right. What already do you mean? We've been at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you now possess a D12. You may use it for uh, one round. Yeah, that's right. You may use it at, for an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. You may also use it if you were to heal somebody. Well, and uh, you grab the uh, um, measuring tape also, the bucket over there. As as the manifestation of it, a small note mm. hovers around your head, and you have a you have a motive potential. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yo. What's that? You'll see. It's okay. Like anime as hell. Let's do it. Are insane. My secret technique. Motive potential. I see through it. That filthy score of yours. <laughs> I've written it. Okay. I'm hyped. I don't know what's going on. That's what There's too much to watch. Oh! Wait, what? Why are you checking that? Why are we doing that? Oh, no. I hate it when you bring out the tape measure. <laughs> He's just gonna... You see uh, the the what? Varium dragon, the um, scion of Gargalon. Hey, Woods, you're standing just, right in front of the camera. Just taking... Just taking a step forward, maybe two, and it's going to be able to encompass literally everyone. Nice. It was nice playing with you all. Um, why, why'd, you, why'd you stand on the front line? I didn't put myself there. We beat, we Gar arranged that. We beat Gargalon. This no. is a Before I had resistance or vulnerability to everything under the sun. No, you, no, you, no, had, no, you, you had them during You had them during it. Oh, yeah, but I was going in the pocket. Yeah. I pushed, I pushed in the, the and uh, the scion of Gargalon these nuts is going to do its cold breath yeah, on you I'm, all. I'm about to die. I need everybody to roll me a constitution saving throw. Like, like oh, die. Does anybody no. have... Oh, I have advantage on con saves. I net 20. I literally Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Not. That's God. The gods don't want you to oh, die. Not, <laughs> not today. Not, <laughs> not right. Since, uh, what do you say? They have an advantage. Yeah. Right. It's still gonna, like, it's it cold, right so it's gonna, and it's the doors open. Like, they didn't close, you didn't say close the door, they went yeah. in there. Yep. It's open. They'll have advantage. Yeah, or have resi let's say resistance on it. Wait, okay. who? The goblins? Temper and Vespa. Oh, okay. Ves temp Tempest Temper and Vesper. Vespist. Vespist. Um, all right. Uh, the Constitution saving throw, uh, Another another nat twenty? Jesus fuck. Drew, Dan. I got twenty-nine. You're you succeed. You're gonna take half. You. Twenty-eight for Thinker, twenty-three for Vespa. You're gonna both succeed. Oh my god. I need a roll for Kevin. Thank you for reminding me. I got you. I, I already got it. I uh, got a fourteen. Oh, well it is it's a, been fun, Kev. It is a robot. Kevin's fine. Kev Kevin has a lot. Um, yes, Kevin. Yes, Kev. Kevin can transcend. Also, I got a nine. A oh, nine? No. Yep. You're gonna fail. You're gonna take full. <sighs> Not to the twenty. You're gonna take quarter. So half. So so half. So half. You'll take half. Yeah. Uh, Lilith. Twenty-one. Twenty win. Just succeed. <gasps> and that's twenty. Ryujin and so twenty. Vesper. I mean Tempest. Twenty-two. Okay. Eb. I didn't mean. Eb is. What the fuck is Eb? Oh, you're a fighter. Eb uh, gets got right now. <laughs> EB, 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 EB might be crispy. Got? It's or like when you take Lydia oh. up the mountain and the ice troll <laughs> just yeets her into the next year. I have forgotten. I am going to use my, my, uh, I'm going to, no, I'm going to use my, my shield master reaction to negate all damage. To, to for who? yourself? Oh. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I've right. used my reaction. Uh, scrub. Dirty I've used my reaction. A dirty 20? So gonna fail. Is off the table. So I believe only failures are uh, okay. Bim, or uh, sorry, Fim. Please. Fim and. Uh, That's my brother. And EB. Okay, Fim and EB, oh, no. you're taking 45 cold damage. Yep, had that, had I not nat 20, I would be unconscious. EB, yeah. EB's fine? Oh. It would be done. Okay. Uh, How are they looking, though? Um, not good, but... Everybody else, you take half that, so 22. I'll be using my reaction to take none. Okay, you take none. And and Tempest and Vespa have resistance on this? Isn't it only, evasion's only dexterity based? Oh shit, I forgot this is constitution. I yeah, just rolled it, constitution. never mind. Oh my god, thank you. Never mind, can't use my nope, shield. You're right. Can't use my shield. Yeah. It's it's con. I'm literally I'm literally cracked into it again. Can you withstand the cold? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, that's yeah. literally what it is. Yeah. I can't gainer my way out of it. Uh, half is 22. <laughs> the same way you can gain your way out of a bad winter. <laughs> Are we applying resistance to I this one? I can flip the two the above the snow. Like yeah, so they'll take half. So they'll take 11. 11. Or, I don't feel anything. Uh, well, one's going to take 20. T- no, no, they both succeeded, so they're good. Yeah. Okay. So they both take 11. Excellent. Um, the children. Uh, it's a literal children. The, the interns. Um, also, make sure. Did you roll from for Aron, too? Oh! Aron? Huh? Oh, Aron. <laughs> don't worry about Aron. Don't worry about Aron? No. Well, you're going to spend a bonus action if Aron gets poofed. Well, no, I mean. What is going on? I never, Why are we shouting in the mic? I never told you what Aron's. Uh, oh, is Aron. Uh, so what's Aron's resistant to? I, well, I, 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 can, I can make it up now. I yeah, know, is sure it cold? Let's make sure it is. All right, awesome, cool. We can make <laughs> sure minus order damage too, as well, because I have that resistance. Okay, done. That's right. fine. <laughs> that means that Aron's damage type oh. is cold, right? Yes. Oh, shit. So it's, so it's, it's now, useless. It's now useless against. It isn't useless. Just can't use it's it. like it's one little <laughs> yeah okay um, that's what I <laughs> and then uh it's and going uh also no it can use any elemental type damage the scion the gotcha. yeah. okay. is just going to kind of duck behind this right over here because it sees like the cannon it's going to take half cover and it's going to use it's one legendary reaction yeah. Uh, one legendary action and do a thing called treacherous ice. And you see it kind of like, like kind of bear down and just like cold starts <laughs> creeping gosh. out from under it, uh, twenty feet in every direction. So at the at the goblins in the yeah, in there, but it, it doesn't do any damage. It just you see like a, you see like a small <laughs> yeah. He's like you see him kind of get behind the hut and go. <laughs> Just shits out sure? ice. <laughs> so it has it's, it has a half cover. What does um, the shit ice do? Uh, you don't know yet. <laughs> the ice poop. <laughs> you see the oh, ground the freeze the twenty feet coming. in every direction from it. Okay, that is the end of the Vivarium Dragons. Now it is Lilith's turn. Disgusting. <laughs> then it's Callias, and then it's Leonidas. Great. Jesus. Disgusting. Disgusting. Who took a shite? <laughs> Which one of you <laughs> doesn't know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shite? <laughs> what it was fucking money is? Disgusting! It was disgusting! I just sing Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd or <laughs> Becky Gina. I know that video by is, heart. That video is true joy. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. It's a close second. I don't know what to Okay. I have a, are each one of these squares five? Yes. Oh, shit. No, they're 32. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. I was like, wait a minute. We laughed about a shot. What was it mean? What well, it was <laughs> fucking one of the It was fucking one of the others. Okay. okay. The only other video that's well, good that's the one with the full kid. Lilith is going to somersault down like a cool kid. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, and then uh, 100, 200, <laughs> yeah nice I, I can't gain her my way out of the ice breath but I can gain her my way off the ship <laughs> and I then gain her way out of this 10, one 15 20 uh, 25 30 uh, I would just do go down to 44 go down um, she can't reach the dragon just yet so instead she like she reaches for her new dagger and then stops realizing how far away the dragon is and then her eyes flash that icy white again and moonbeam gets cast on the dragon um kate moonbeam moonbeam daydream oh yeah i i would like a con save please moonbeam dread daydream oh yeah a con save from a dragon? Don't mind if I do. From a dragon? 
Constitution. <laughs> That's a. Twenty-five. Yeah, that beats it, but they'll how, take how, half. How, how much does it beat by? <laughs> beats it by. Is it more than four? Yeah. Okay. Much oh, more. Okay. <laughs> Is it more than eleven? <laughs> um, it's actually <laughs> under eleven. Oh, we're gonna have to have you roll up a four on that. It's not worth it. It's, it's, not, it's, it's so not worth it. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> so Both Goliath and Rick are like, <laughs> get him! <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, they're gonna take half of 26 points of, um, what is it, um, not ethereal. Oh my god, my brain, radiant, yeah. Radiant? You guys made me laugh so hard I cried and my brain turned into goop. So half of 26 is 13. 13. Um, and if they are a shape changer, they turn into their true form, you know. Interesting, okay, interesting with that. Oh, they you... make their, if they're a shape changer, they do make the saving throw with disadvantage. They're not a shape changer, but this it hits them, and it's almost like you see like that same ripple effect happen, but on a larger scale. You see just like it's like a foot almost seems like to appear out and get shunted back in. It seems to be more than meets the eye. Transformers. Uh, it's, it's, no. it's a smooshed creature. In the same way that the, the Philosopher's Stone is, is, a, is a things. multiple things at once. Gargalon likes to uh, to graft. He, Gargalon was a alchemist. alchemist. Niv-Mizzet, if you will. Mm. Oh, well, you, did you use niv I, I buffed up niv mizzet Sick. Fucking sick. Um, then Lilith just goes, did you all just see that? I sure did. Oh, I miss Wormheim Keith. And her eyes are still, whenever Moonbeam is up, her eyes are just completely white. There's yeah. no pupils. Would you? It's it's still made. Up, it's made up of organic material. Yeah. There's no inorganic material. Yeah. It's all organic. Yeah. As yeah. far as we can see. As our, as yeah. As far as you can tell now. <laughs> um, except that's... for its iron heart. <laughs> now, okay. That's the end of Lilith's turn. Um, I'm just gonna bonus action. Um, hide. We're ducking behind. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. Over this way. Um. All right. Cool. Now we go to uh, Callias, then Leo, then Vesper. Callias for now is a. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit, but stay inside me. Uh, I'm going to touch the, the sort of riddled runic gear on the belt of Thargate, sort of press their fingers against it, let magic course in and whisper again, serve me as you did before. Whisper out the energy and summon the return of the gnocchi! Yeah. <laughs> the gnocchi! I missed the gnocchi! I've got a gnocchi here. Oh. Oh. Um, I, had it, I had it ready to go. <laughs> Uh, oh, the gnocchi. The okay. gnocchi has returned. Um, well, how far can I summon it out? Um, oh, an unoccupied space within 90 feet, please. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. It's chilling over there. <laughs> it's not uh, So in theory, I'm supposed to roll its own initiative. Um, <sighs> roll away, I'll add it in. We could just, okay. Roll away, I'll add it in. It's a 13, wow, so it's technically higher, higher than me, so can it go It can now? go immediately after Great. you. Perfect. Yeah. But then bef- it'll um, go before me, otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> the gnocchi is going 13. <laughs> mm, what do you think it's about to try? <laughs> <laughs> what is that drink thing right there? Huh? This? That's the statue of... The statue the of statue. That's the statue of Fin Fam. The nude statue of Fin Fam. It's like, it's like the statue of David. Yes. Okay, so I think that's... Pink. Hey, and I painted that mini. I'm not finished with it yet, though. Great job, brother. It looks it really great. Good. I think it's your best one yet. Uh, it's okay. The mini came all the way from California. Should've painted it gold. I'm gonna Should've then... Should've painted it gold. Got in. I'm gonna use my bonus action to just breathe in, exhale, and sort of let myself start to flicker with my own magic as I cast Far Step on myself. Uh, yep. And I'm just gonna use that to... Up there for now. Uh, okay. Are you con- is that concentration? Yes. The the aberration would be, but it's since it's from the item, it isn't. In this case. Nice. Does it say you can cast it without concentration on the item? No, it's it's a feat that says it's it's not even a spell, but it functions like a spell. Got you. All right. Oh, uh, who fucking fell? Go down. The, the entire camp. Yeah. That looks like a fucking Gundam railgun. Yes. <laughs> oh, it really does. Um, 
So, great, it's the Gnocchi's turn. The Gnocchi is going to use its bonus action to, in, in what language is it in speech? In, in deep speech. You're mine. And it's going to use its bonus action to try and enslave. <laughs> you, you hear, uh, you hear Kevin go, that one has quite the mouth on it. <laughs> what did we say to deep speech? <laughs> what's, 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 that, what's that accent? The accent for deep speech? Uh, oh no. <sighs> you are mine. Oh, oh, I like it. It's a German? Yeah. Oh no, okay, alright, <laughs> fuck me. Uh, <laughs> I guess yep. if Italy, if hell's a t Italy, deep speech is German. The, the deep guess. abyss is German, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, <laughs> we love our German viewers. We do. Uh, and that's going to change if I come back as my Valkyrie, but neither here nor there. The, I need a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what? Do we have German? Oh, what if it crits? What if it crits? I want it to. I want it to. Come on, it would just, it would just be a legendary. It's a 22. God damn it. Mm, it doesn't beat my DC of 14. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? No, I. That's not how this works. There's more than, <laughs> there's more than one number I'd have to roll to, uh, to get that. To get that. Like, so there's okay. like a chunk of numbers that I could roll and fail. Great, great, great. Stick well, to the start. good thing that doesn't. That's the one time I can do it a <laughs> day. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what it will wish is dawn again. Keep trying. As like, <laughs> you are mine. <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> Scheiße! Scheiße! <laughs> then suffer! And it's just gonna hold out its hands and then it's instead of shooting anything with its hands, just gonna <laughs> and shoot this eldritch <laughs> bolt from its mouth out towards this thing. I, I do love that it, kind of, it doesn't have a neck apparently. It, the joke is it has the it's literally got a giraffe neck. That's yeah. what this like. Oh um, um, roll the attack. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> Whenever the gnocchi comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Here for comic relief. Never the kill my goblins, bro. <laughs> it does a lot of damage with this attack too. Uh, oh, actually, it makes it makes two of these attacks. So the first okay. is a crit fail. <laughs> They're all the same. One. It's right into space. Please be a crit fail. Kills your bystander. is my favorite PC. I'm changing my answer for the RP warm up. I want to change okay. places with the Gnocchi I'm guessing it's for a AC month. is not a 14. Huh? Yeah? It actively isn't. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, 15. It actively isn't. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. <laughs> well. Um, the bolts. Does the crit fail hit anything? Because again, it does pretty serious damage if it hits. Uh, right. It hits the the building, but not any. <laughs> so it's three d ten plus four force damage. So does it blow a chunk out of the building? Yeah, like so that's like one of the metal buildings right there. So it kind of goes and like just kind of a little bit of shrapnel. Like hits scorch the marks. Yeah. Does it get rid of some of the? Nine, nine, nine. No. <laughs> it's gonna move a little bit. <laughs> Just, just no. the German yoke going, ah. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. I love it. It's so German, but we 20. call it a yoke. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to climb five feet up the building. I do love this just running away in defeat. <laughs> it's, it's I mean, this thing's alignment is lawful evil, so I mean, it's it's only here because I'm telling it that it should be. <laughs> oh, uh, it is Tywin. Yeah. It is okay. Tywin Lance. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, That's okay. Callias, you're done. And uh, Leonidas, it's you. <laughs> so is the Nyoki. <laughs> so is the Nyoki. It's going to be. <laughs> I'm done with this I almost summoned the spectator again, really but this know, is much better. I don't better. really know what this to do. This is much better. Thematically, it's great. Awful if you've ever well, what, I gonna do, what I am going to do, what I am going to do, and I jump off This there, is what we're dealing with. Is that, how much movement does it cost to jump? Uh, movement? Uh, it'll, it'll be half your movement to jump. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, should I say jumping boots or whatever? Yeah, you, you triple your movement. You can jump real far. Oh, like it'd be worth it to make an athletics to jump. Because what your your boots of stri uh, desperado triple your jump. Okay. Yeah, if you just make a running jump, which is like ten feet, you could get hypothetically thirty feet with half your movement. Okay, so I'll make a running jump. Athletics. Go for it. Uh, twenty-seven. Oh yeah, you're gonna jump a good thirty feet. Are you going to walk Actually, no, let's go 40 feet since you're high up. So 40 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. It could be eight. You jump like oh, we the Hulk. We can do diagonal if you want to go close to this. Diagonally. Diagonally. Oh, diagonally. Did he say? Oh, did he say diagonally? Did he, say? he did. I think he did. I think he did. Ah, oh, man, those actors. Anyway. Um, Hello. Uh, what do you oh, wow. 
and that's how, and that's what my full movement. No, that's half your movement done. Oh, you still have the other half. Another thirty or uh, twenty? You have forty. I have forty-five feet. Okay, so you have twenty-five feet, or let's say twenty-five feet left. You could dash there. It is I um, considered I my within though. twenty feet of the dragon. It's considered difficult terrain. Uh, no, because they're not touching the ground, technically. I'm thinking. <laughs> so I, I can go another 25? Mm-hmm. Five, ten. Jesus Christ, where was I there? You were here. Sorry. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And then I can shoot my echo. I can't believe it. If this works, this would be so silly. Uh, I can shoot my echo 15 feet in front of me, and then it can move up to... Uh, and then it can move up to 30 feet. Up to 30 feet? It can. So yeah. I can shoot it. You can pop it right up. 15, 15. You can pop it on top yeah. of the building. Ooh. Big ring. I will say if any shots get shot at it from there, you may hit the echo. Respect. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Faster than it just costs your bonus action. We need the statue to get out. I mean, it costs my bonus action every time. Okay. <laughs> we want the statue we, to we turn into... We would like into, a kaiju? Yeah, it's going to be a kaiju uh, fight. Gypsy yeah. danger is going to come out. Count as magical attacks. Uh, from the Echo? Echo? No, no. A magic statue that's come to fight. life? I, I would check. assume it'd be I magical. Don't I don't think so. If it, so yeah, if it's animated, it's yeah. not. The Echo... It, can the Echo hit it from there? Yeah, it can. Or, uh, Echo is going to do... You also have long arms set. still. Oh, I do. Yeah, but I'm... It uses my so maybe I'll go back a little bit. To hit. Mm. But if I go to animated if I object, would, how how far is the reach of the dragon? Do I know? I don't it's know. just uh, you don't know the okay. reach of the dragon. Is you can no, you know it's more than five. It's a huge okay. dragon. It's, a, it's an than, ancient is it dragon. More than ten. Is uh, uh, you don't know that. I don't know that. Okay. Depending on the attack, I'm going to make so it's, it's, it's I'm I'm thing. ten feet away from it, but I still it's have just dancing attack item. of it, right? Mm hmm. So it's it's we'll be back just to smooch. Yes, great. And then all three of these attacks are going to be. The whole nine yards. Of Everything? Of Reckless and very very magic. All right, is this all magic? This is from the Echo. Yeah, so I guess it's magic. Go ahead. Go for it. Knock him out of the box, Luke. Uh, okay. That's a... Okay, we have to do a math here. So we're adding this one, and then we're doing this plus 12. It's, it's definitely magical. Five. The force magic. of the power slam. So 19, 19 plus 12. 19 plus 12. 19 plus 12. 19 plus 12. That's going to hit. Okay, that's the first magical. one. The second one. Is it good or bad? It's good. It's okay. un- good. Wow. So well. Another 31. That's going to hit. And then the last one is a natural one. Holy wow. shit. Nice. This is going to be another one of those uh, Leonidas be. rounds right here. <laughs> what do we call it in the home? Uh, going full oh. echo? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so yeah. Uh, hit, me with the, hit me with the damage of the first. So first one. Wow, what if echo had echoes? Wait. Whoa. I feel like she should have. I feel like that would have been a perfect class spell. It wasn't me back then. Yeah. Uh, really? Mackenzie with like echoes, oh, with yeah. echo. Oh, damn. Damn. Could, yeah. If Mackenzie had yeah. echoes, echoes, it would be it would be crazy. over for any hoe I throw um, ever. So I'm adding. We just we are done with but the. But I'm not raging. Okay, so I'm just trying to do my. So first one. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Uh, that's a. Eight plus. Eight plus. Twelve plus. Ten. Eight plus twenty-two. It's a nice even thirty. Okay, thirty for the first. Thirty hit. for the first. Eight plus. Wow. 12. Uh, that's seven plus twelve plus ten. You and twenty nine. Twenty nine. Last one. So I fifty nine. It's uh, so it's 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 twelve plus whatever you roll. God, fucking damn. It's twelve plus twelve plus ten plus four. Twelve plus twelve plus ten was because it's a nat twenty, and you get full. We're doing it's that. it's twelve plus what you roll plus what your bonus is and plus ten. Plus ten because of yeah, great weapon. So, so why is there that th- third that the twelve from the roll? Did you roll twelve right there? No, I rolled a four. So it's so twelve plus four plus ten. Plus twelve. Where is that other twelve coming from? Because I have a plus twelve modifier. Okay, yeah, that's where it comes from. Twelve plus four plus zero plus <laughs> because you're ten. Jacked twelve plus twelve. Into next, plus yeah. Because you have the strength of that statue. Yeah. Uh, in total, Stronger, that is ninety-seven actually. damage. And then I will action surge. Ninety-seven damage. Yeah. And now we action surge. Okay. I love, I love being your little computer, Dan. I got you. Meat computer. Flesh computer. Where is my no. Flesh R Us. Flesh R Us! That's great, I love that. I love that a lot. That is the plot of Bloodborne. Yeah. Wow! 
Uh, Ooh. All right. Uh, yeah. Does a uh, twenty hit? Twenty does hit. Okay. Wow. That's thank God for advantage. Second one. Uh, oh, that's gonna hit. Uh, twenty-one. Can you mean? Uh, twenty-one does hit. Let's finish it. Finish the same Yeah. That's, 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 that's three above, hits. Above twenty. Yeah, way above three 20. hits. Twenty. Oh, well, way above twenty. Way about yeah, 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 hits. Roll for damage. Oh, All three. Six, 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 six. Uh, six plus <laughs> twelve plus ten. Okay, twenty-eight. That's the first one. Fuck me running. Uh, five plus twelve is ten. Twenty-seven. Five. Nice. Uh, nine plus twelve plus ten. Twenty-one. And that's an additional eighty-six. Eighty-six on top of that. Yeah. Wow. So you was, did almost two hundred points of damage on this guy. It was what eighty-six plus ninety-seven. Yep. Yeah. Hundred and eighty-three. Wow. Yes, Leonidas. And I'll and I'll look up towards my echo and I'll go. Mm, good, good. Yeah. The echo's just like steaming. A little bit. Oh, if only you knew. Um, okay, uh, is that it? Is that it, I Dan? Do know. Is I that do it? I believe that's all I can do. Okay, you went full Leonidas on that and did a shit ton of damage. Holy okay. shit. Okay, um, so now we go to... I love when Dan Yeah, it's, it's great. True. Uh, it's Vesper's turn. I also don't What's Vesper know? doing? It's me! I'm Vesper! It's me. Um, I'm gonna. Hi. I guess I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload the cannon. And that's an action. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I have any spells I want to use on my Let's see. Let's see. I don't Healing word. Think. Okay. No one's really here who. Um, on yourself or or tempest. Or eb. Or eb. I'm but you Yeah, but. Eb's good. I'll send Eb down there next time. You know, you know, don't need to know much about me. Been smoking cigarettes for fifty years. Eb worked in the mines. We further. It's just like dirty, like a coal miner, always. Always. Eb used to be like a level eight healing warrior, but it's now very old. So like, since the skill level has gone down. Yeah. So he's level four. He's got the knowledge of. As a no. seasoned warrior. His muscles so have atrophied. Yeah, no. so Lo- loading it's a full action, yeah? Yes. Uh, then all, all she's going to do, because she's, after all, Thinker's disciple, I guess. Action to load, an action to aim, and an action to fire. Incredible. Yes. I'm just going to remind Megron to swap yeah. the weapons over. Which, by weapons over? Oh, rather, I'm going to swap the power cycle of the system of the ship to buff weapon. Buff weapon, so it takes a, it's two actions? Yeah, it would be faster reload. It's only two people needed per cannon. Yeah. And so it would be reloading and aiming in the same action, and the damage is increased to 40 10. Or by 40 10. Okay. I don't know if Megron does that, or if that's end of round type shit. If for Megron to do something. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it, because the ship's not really like active. It's not on. Oh, You're not okay. piloting it, so I would. Uh, let's talk later, because I feel like in this, like just to like post the ship up and have it be a bunch of turrets, mm-hmm. that's a little overpowered, but I we'll talk about it. it. I respect Now you. it's okay. Lit. That's yeah. That's best. Also, just as vulnerable because it can't move. Yes, but it's like we've yes. parked it. Yeah. yeah. I respect. I'm done. That's Vesper. Okay, Vesper uh, loads. Vesper loads. Yeah, and and in, in Nergron, it's the top of the round is when it Incredible activates. News. Huh? You don't know. I don't like um, the other things he, he said there. It's it's an amalgam. There are other okay. Things uh, it is Kevin's turn. Uh, Kevin's gonna kind of look back. around and go. Go on, Kevin. Wee. Boy. I'm so proud of him. Cast hyper beam. <laughs> Cast the nice level spell delete. Just delete. trying to see what Kevin. Uh, I got a little distracted. And I haven't really looked at Kevin's L-E-D-D. spells as much. Oh. Kevin move the dragon or the hut. <laughs> Lifts up all the goblins. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, Kevin's gonna just kind of step down and, and land off the ship. And he's going to move, or they're going to move uh, 30 feet closer. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I, how far can uh, we measure how far away Kevin is? Can somebody let me know? 18 is 90 feet. That helps. Uh, 15? No, okay. like 14 feet away. Okay, so it's within 90 feet. That's all I needed to hear. Um, 120. 
Huh? 120. What do you mean? Yeah, in inches. In oh, more yeah. than that. Can you measure from the cabin of the ship to the dragon real quick? It'd be, it'd be every 10 feet, so. It's two feet. Uh, no, where the dragon begins, it's 21 inches. It's nice. 21 inches? Top to bottom? <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, uh, uh, this is the one kind of uh, attack spell he has. You see, um, uh, Kevin just kind of watch out and just takes his, the staff and kind of bonks on his head a little bit. And you hear a this like dissonant sound kind of hit uh, and cast Tasha's Mind Whip. Yes! Oh. Ooh. Um, I love it. And he's a save. That's cocked. Five. Uh, the um, actually, mm -hmm. you see, and it's gonna use, uh, gonna use his portent to say uh, that uh, the dragon rolled an eight. So that's the eight used on oh. its portent. Can you just um, decide what you rolled? Yeah. Yeah. That's divination wizards, baby. You rolled two. You, yeah. It's yeah. Now three. three. It's now divination. three. Wow. And now he used. He has an eight, a ten, and an eighteen. You roll three dice at the beginning. Of um, so rolled an eight. Um, eight for the dragon for a intelligence save. Awesome, is a nine is gonna fail. Love that. Um, Woody's over here playing with himself. So that's gonna be uh, 3d6 psychic damage? Of course I'm playing with myself. It's the only fun I have. We didn't need to hear about yeah. that. I'm, I'm, let's talk to Sarah about that one. I am gonna masturbate by myself. For nine, I don't know. It is actually very good to know. The dragon is a plus one to intelligence. I thought you were talking about I'm masturbating. It's very good for me to know that he's masturbating by So it is going to use one of its legendary reactions or resistances to succeed, though. Okay. That's one. That's one. But da 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 half as much half damage. I was gonna take four damage. Um, <laughs> Ugh. So it takes four damage. That's How would you it. Even then, use the portent if you were going to use the legendary. That's such a waste of your brain. Energy. No, because it, it makes the dragon use a legendary oh, resistance. That's fair, yeah, <laughs> that's no, not that's a waste. Fair. It made sense. It's a, it's a it made around. sense. <laughs> yeah. We got it. Okay. Um. Now we go. That is, and Kevin goes. You. Just kind of looking at it. Um, and that's Kevin's turn. Um, now we go top of the round. Nergron kind of like, and like uh, more uh, roots grow to help load the thing. So now it just needs to be aimed and fired. So EB's going to aim it. EB's going to push Ryujin out of the way since yeah. Ryujin can't move right now. <laughs> EB's like, I got it. Uh, I imagine there's like a seat. And so he's just like, just imagine how it. hard my nipples are right now. Um, and then he's going to shoot again. All right. But this time it has disadvantage. Disadvantage? Okay. Because yeah, it's he has half cover. Uh, I thought that's uh, he has plus two. To AC. Yeah, he gets a plus oh, two to his AC. Plus, okay. Um, I'm going to say before you even roll, you roll an 18. Uh, well, that's what I rolled anyway. I already rolled. <laughs> well, I said I said it, so <laughs> use the portent. That's really funny. Yeah. Uh, you could... When's the portent used? Port it, it allows you to, it allows you to change. But it's when. It's when. Is it before or after? It's, it's, you know the roll. After the roll, but before you know the outcome. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be. Much okay, better. so you rolled an 18. He doesn't. He doesn't use it. Usually. Uh, that's okay. So you can be like, actually, yes. That's why uh, divination actually, wizards are my Tiffany? favorite wizards. I can't yeah. sit anywhere. I have that. That would be your base roll is 18. Oh. Okay. That's how it works. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah. then it's six. Plus, plus, plus six, plus my, your deck. Plus the deck, so. <sighs> you beat it. You beat it. You nice. beat it. Nice. Fire away. Oh, but now you've got. Now you've got. Uh, it's it's twelve d ten. If if weapon systems are up, it's twelve d ten. Twelve d ten bludgeon. I must say that's a no. Okay. When it's parked, that's a no. Unless you are in the helm, actually piloting it, that's a no. I respect. Yeah. 52. 52? Oh, yeah. Wasn't as good as last time. It's, I mean, that's how the numbers work. That's how. 
All right, Chance 333 works. points of damage on this thing right now. Wow. How's it looking? Uh, it's looking hurt. Very hurt. Phase um, one is looking I, like I it's close to ending. I was about to say, we've cycled through the first beast, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, is that the end of EB's turn? EB's going to run downstairs. Okay, EB's use their action. What does EB do? Just run downstairs? Runs downstairs okay. to go inside the... Okay, um, does they close the door? Y yes. Okay, you close the door. Okay. Um, then we're gonna go on to Ryujin. Your turn. Ryujin is going to hop onto Arn's back. Um, and Arn's gonna fly up, but he's already just pretend he's flying. Yeah, he's up in the air. Um, yeah. In the tail again. Yeah. That's yeah, right in the tail. Right on the tail. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> still managed that. I think that was incredible. Um, and then Ryujin is going to. Well, they're gonna move. Off the boat? Yeah, just off the boat. <clears throat> and then Ryujin's going to shoot with his he's shoot with his uh, laser rifle. Um, nice. Two shots. Um, that is a uh, one was a natural twenty, and I got rolled that, and then I rolled the second. I'm gonna make two shots. It's a nineteen. Plus, uh, it's a twenty nine to hit. So. So a natural twenty to hit and a twenty nine to hit. Yeah. Both are gonna hit. So when does max damage? <laughs> do the hustle. <laughs> do the hustle! Do, 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 do it! Show me how you hustle! Okay. Show me that hustle! Do the hustle! Yuki's about to fucking hustle over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, MVP. No! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so delighted by the gnocchi the all the time. Uh, they're called Neogi. N E O G I. They are intergalactic insectoid space slingers. It's as bad as it could be. Like, oh, gnocchi! This thing has like eight legs that are blades and it actively. Okay, 48. Second one? Um, oh, the second man is rolling now. The regular one's like doing its um, whole thing. In its own place. Yeah. And then suddenly it's just like here. And yeah. it's here. It's here. It's, it says I'd yes and. I'd like for it to be canon that it's the same one. Yes, it absolutely is. This <laughs> Until is. that one dies outright, it's the same guy. It's the same guy. Uh, the spectator <gasps> did get bombed. The spectator got uh, 17. <laughs> 17. Uh, 48 plus 17. 48 plus 17. Uh, with that, you kill. Oh, wow. Take the stage. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, phase one. Phase, phase yeah. one, guys. He has four, four well, creatures. Well, let's see how this one goes. After Not Regen's enough. pushed out of the seat by EB, Regen's like, well, fuck, all right. I'm fine, I'll do it myself. I, I, uh, I got it, sure. sir. I guess I, I, he makes the jump from that part of the ship <gasps> onto Aron's back <laughs> as Aron flies off the ship. So or on a takes his laser rifle off his back, aims, pop, pop, two <laughs> molts of brilliant radiant light just Awesome. Right so as it goes in, it's like fling, fling into the both heads and just like <laughs> on top of the thing and it goes <laughs> uh, anything within 30 feet of it. Leonidas, are you within 30 feet of it? You for Am sure? I within 30 yes, feet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just the hot, the echo, and the Oh, Okay, give him my echo, and that one died. <laughs> the echo gets splunched. <laughs> I look at the echo, and the echo goes, ah! You're gonna take 4d10. I use my reaction to just like, almighty push him away from that. Yeah, uh, Leonidas? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, should be fine. So it's just the hut. Oh, not that far. It moves you for Yeah, but Yeah, but then I gotta get all the way back right. there. So um, did you want to take this damage, or did you? I you don't have to move me that far. I wasn't. I was twenty five feet old. It's it's not like a. Okay, then fine. I so with that, it blows up and actually, poof, and this hut gets scattered. And you see all the people under going, oh, um, unhurt. The hut is destroyed. Please remove it. And oh. now standing in the refuse of the uh, schluffing uh, viscera of the old ancient dragon is two adult crystal dragons. And that's where we're gonna end oh this my God. session. Take photos, take records.
keep, keep. Oh you have to lock this down. That was only one round of combat. I, that was a, you, yeah. you killed this motherfucker in a round of combat. So a round and change. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we, we swung back. Oh, wow. But two, now, but now there's two bad guys on the initiative two count. Two crystal and dragons. Oh, we got lots. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is a marathon and not Have a sprint. We played Age of Mythology and played as the Atlanteans, those Prometheans. Do you remember playing, fighting with those? That's what I based these guys off I've of. just recently played Age of Mythology, and man, it still slaps. Are we using the same initiative? Uh, so it's going to be the same initiative, and I'm going to be adding in two new bad guys into Let's it. Let's go! The oh exposed. my goodness, oh my yeah, goodness. My <laughs> Ooh, all those goblin tons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hypothetically, if I just use my turn to go Brazilian sphere and just like pop. pop he give him a new home. The, um, the goblinos are right, cool. Well, hey, danger. everybody who's been with us the whole time, thank you for having us for this stream for the nice four hours. And, uh,. We will see you next week. Yeah, come join us on Sunday for Clickety Clackety, Roll Two Taggity, yes. Feigning Elegance. I'll be wearing a different silver wig. She's a crewing. Knights of Silver Wig. And then come join us in the Discord in the meantime as well. It's popping off. All right. Um, until then, uh, spread some love, spread some joy, tell somebody you love them, give people hugs if they consent to it. Uh, and. Uh, Let's go ahead and let's uh, give, when we raid, give somebody a lot of that barred loving for that raid. The bony love. The barred that, love. Bony give them that good boning love. No. 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 Goodbye, bony, 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 bone, bone.